my god, are we starting on time? What is this what sorcery? Is what is this? There's an injustice, whether it's against you or someone you love or someone you believe in. Stand up. Don't sit down. Don't sit down on them because they need you. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I'm Andy Signor, and we are here with Steph the Alter Nerd. Welcome, Steph. How are you doing? I'm not doing too bad. How y'all doing? I'm it's doing a wonderful great. Wonderful evening. I don't have a mega pint, but I got my Mike's Hard Lemonade because I think we're all going to need a few bottles of these tonight as we get ready to watch. The full Amber Heard interview on NBC. Now, guys, it starts in 30 minutes, a little less than 30 minutes. We're going to do a little pre-show, get you guys all ready, get you guys a little buzzed beforehand. Because, again, like I said, I think we're going to need it. And then we'll be streaming it from NBC. NBC is broadcast television here. I'm um, just streaming broadcast TV with our commentary. We're going to try our best to not offer too much, but we may have to pause, especially during commercials, just a couple times. Just to pause to get us there. So bear with us as we do have to do that a little bit. But we'll be watching it with you guys and showing it to you. Uh, so cheers to all you guys tuning in. Welcome to the show. Uh, happy to have you here, guys. Mm. Delicious. Uh, Steph, now you you got to see parts of this. Yes. I, I, I mean... Good on NBC for stretching it out over five days. I mean, I guess they, if they got, if whoever had to pay for it, this like, let's do it over multiple windows. And, uh, yeah. That's not Amber's fault. Amber, it feels like Amber's on a publicity tour. I try to be unbiased. Uh, and mm. the reality is she, you know, she didn't make the decision how they uh, released it. But the fact that they spread it out so many outlets, Peacock, Dateline, multiple Good Morning America days, it just reeks of we have to justify the cost of this is really what it comes down to me. And as we've previously spoken with Christopher Melcher, I don't know, you were, Steph's been out, so I'm refilling filling her in a bit. Christopher warned us, like, they don't usually pay. It's, you know, it's very sketchy for the news to pay for an interview because then it's, you know, biased news. The trick is usually you license parts or you give them things to get them there. And there's little cushy little kickbacks and licensing things that can ultimately get someone paid. So what I suspect as we watched the parts we've seen so far, there are some shots of Amber with her kid from Instagram. There are these new documents, you know, the files that they cut to. Those are, again, speculation warning. Those are types of examples of how Amber could have gotten paid on this you know, clear to be like, well, we didn't pay her for the interview, Steph. We did license some of the material, uh, and that can be how they sneak that in. Does that uh, does that make it easier, or does it still annoy you to think that they have paid her in this way from NBC News? At the end of the day, right? Either way, she's going to get paid for this interview. Um. I'm not angry that she's getting paid for interview. I'm angry that, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, she's telling a buttload of lies. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I mean, guys, I went off on one in video that I've just released in last hour when I watched the, the full 20 minute that was released uh, this week on Today Show, I believe it was. And... Guys, I ranted so much. It was like every few seconds, I was just run, 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 because it was like, oh my goodness, this loss is delusional. I mean, she turns around and she says, just for example, right, guys, three for the first three weeks, it was all Johnny, and then I didn't stand a chance because he already had three weeks of Johnny. So when I got to stand, they were all for Johnny. And so I didn't take, uh, uh, didn't stand a chance. Well, hang on a minute. She had her time as well to refute Johnny's claims. You could make the argument first off that Johnny Depp's uh, side um, that was presented to court was so like far away that the jury could have forgotten that because she went then second. So she would be more recent in their minds than Johnny Depp. Also as well, on top of that, you could make the argument, well, Amber Heard, that's a full... A lot of baloney because at the end of the day, she used pretty much every single minute that was allocated to Amber's team. Literally yeah. had like one minute left in their final little thing that they could do uh, for their speech. That was it. Johnny Depp still had hours to spare. 
So mm-hmm. they had more time. Uh, they used more time than Johnny Depp to present to the jury that Amber Heard is not the monster and that Johnny Depp is. Oh, my God, just instances like that. Uh, watch my video if you want to see more rants on that. But, oh, my goodness, I feel there's going to be even more for this full-on video. Yeah. Uh, Again, don't care that she got paid. She's going to get paid. We know this. But it's the lies that are coming out of a gob. That's getting the bit paid that's now lie. bothering me. Yeah, I agree. Getting paid to lie. Speaking of getting paid, oh my God, Kristen Grove starting it out with 100. <laughs> saying, glad to be here. Let's go. Love you both. My God, Kristen, thank you. I am going to try and read your comments at the start to get us going in this pre-show, so thank you. Uh, guys, they, they're they not going to like us getting paid off of this, but let's get paid. It's today, Amber and NBC getting paid because we've, uh, we, we'll keep it honest with you. Speaking of getting paid, I know you guys love them. I love them. I'm starting my, my music. Guys, Ouch. we got Ouch. a sponsor again. Ouch. Pouch. 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 They're back, Ouch. baby. They're back. Ouch. Oh my god, I'm Ouch. loving sheath underwear more and more. Today's sponsor, this interview, all of it, we can do it because of sheath underwear. Uh, guys, if you haven't already picked up your pair, what are you waiting for? Now you're looking at this and you're like, what are you talking about, Andy? Now sheath underwear is, uh, I'm telling you this as Andy. This isn't because they paid me. This is the most comfortable underwear I've ever had. And uh, for guys, it's got a dual pouch. I know that sounds, what? What is this? Pouch? Pouch. 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 Uh, the dual pouch uh, lets you ha- basically uh, your uh, your Frank and Beans <laughs> both have a place to go. It's got a pouch here for the for the you know the boys, and then yeah, you got the the carrot can go right down the middle, and you can still uh, use it like regular boxers. What's so amazing about this, tighty whities are like super tight boxers. They're too tight. And then you got the boxers and they're too loose. Somehow Sheath has made the most comfortable combo middle size where it's just, just loose enough, but just tight enough to work really tight. So if you got a man in your life, pick up a pair for him, surprise him. Or if you are a dude watching, check out Sheath Underwear and use code POPCORN at checkout. I think we have a link the mods are sharing. Use uh, our link, make sure you use POPCORN and you will get 20% off your order. Look at this guy. Look how in shape and comfortable this guy looks. Woo! Pouch. Look at his package. Pouch. It bulges pro- right out. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't know whether to mount it or stun it. Dude. <laughs> See, guys? That, Steph's going to give you that reaction when you got your pouches on and you can put it in there. Uh, they are, again, super nice material. I wish I could, I wish I could let you feel it. It's soft. Uh, there's like a bam. I, I definitely want to feel that. Yeah. <laughs> no, never mind the, no. Seriously, if that pouch makes you look that big, dude, what are you pouch. waiting for? I mean, pouch. come on. Pouch. You want to mount it, not stop it. You want to stop it. You want to mount that thing like, oh, yes. Away we go. Guys, I know some of you have actually gotten And ladies, you can get boy shorts as well. Bikini briefs, nice. sports bralettes. I, I'm telling you, we're like, this is the sheath revolution, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. And you know what? Most importantly, I'm just proud. Of, like they, they, they're sponsoring us, guys. They believe in us. They're like, yeah, you and your community are awesome. We like what you're doing for this justice for Johnny. We want to make sure you're there. So support our sponsors. I don't, I don't bring on sponsors that aren't, I don't feel are worthy, are good quality. And Sheath is really taking care of us now. So if you've been on the fence before, wondered should I get my Sheath? Now's your chance. For tonight's show, we will be uh, giving you 20% off all your orders, so go use code POPCORNED at checkout. They're sharing it. And yes, you can get ladies, uh, men, all types of sizes. I really like the bamboo. Um, the, uh, where is it? I'm going to show sorry, you go to the, the you go to the, uh, the, the men's Ooh, store. look at that. <laughs> there it is. Oh, the dude. sheath bamboo, men's eight. It's extra, even extra comfort. They're all good, but this one's like a little bit more. And uh, it's real nice. I mean, it's, it's giving you a little bit of a bulge yeah, that you can mount. I mean, oh, that's, my that, sadly, you guys, it's it. not going to make it bigger. It's going to just showcase it. Uh, <laughs> so no, hey, don't, don't, don't know, get fooled by that. Please, I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss sell this. <laughs> PP enlargements have got nothing on the pouch right now. Oh my pouch. goodness, pouch. guys, pouch. Yeah. That pouch. We might works. have to. Sh- we have to. Ch- might have to change our code. The next one will. When we do the next one, the code will have to be pouch. Uh, oh, it has to be, dude. Pouch. Uh, <laughs> But use Ouch. code popcorn Ouch. right now, uh, you, and then Ouch. if our link has the uh, the page, if you buy through here, you'll see. Oh, they're sold out! Oh, damn! Some of them, yeah, the bam- yeah, we already sold out the bamboo. Look at that! Let's sell out the yeah, others. Yeah, guys, let's sell out more. 
Uh, ladies, fellas, all get it. Oh, I like the new, some new limited edition designs. Guys, this is my new underwear. I'm not just saying it. I'm wearing it. Maybe uh, maybe if they come back for round four, I'll, I'll, I'll tease it a little bit more for you. Uh, but <laughs> to prove it. But uh, <laughs> pouch, it's sheath is what it's called. Sheathunderwear.com. Make sure you use code popcorn. Thank you so much for sheath for uh, doing it. Mods, keep sharing the links. Guys, hopefully you'll try it out. And let me know if you did, if you love it or hate it. I always like to know what you guys think of the products that sponsor here because I never want to sell you crap. Uh, and this sheath has been really good to us. So thank you, sheath, for stepping up and, su and supporting and sponsoring tonight's show. All right. Very exciting. So happy to have the pouch. Pouch! 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 Pouch. 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 Oh my goodness. They're awesome. I They've been so the cool. Pouch. All right, guys. So we're just waiting. We're stalling a little bit. Uh, I, in case we get struck or dung, dinged, whatever, I might. I guess I'm going to leave this up, Steph, because that way at least the pre-show and the post-show can be there, and I just trim the middle. I don't know, but I'll put some time codes in here. I'll try to put at least a chapter start so you know when the interview is going to start. Uh, so stay tuned, but we're waiting another about 15 minutes or so until the show airs on Dateline NBC. Um, and we have it up ready. I'm looking at it. When it comes on, we will pivot to that live and react with you guys as we watch it. Uh, we are going to have to offer some commentary. You know, we won't be like completely mm. talking over it. But guys, you've seen a lot of this already. This is literally just an elongated version of the ones we've already seen. Uh, but in order to make sure we're following along fair use, this is broadcast news. This is what it is. We're going to react and offer our commentary on it. So stay tuned. We'll be there. Uh, I want to point this out, though, Steph, in our pre-show here. This is an interesting article that came out just sort of related to everything that's talking about. This, there's so many Amber Heard supporters out there writing this nonsense. So much of the mainstream media is covering up stuff. And if, the irony of the Washington Post reporting about the USA Today removing articles for fabricated stuff just is uh, rich to me. Uh, uh, because they didn't, they had, they're the ones who posted the op-ed, monetized off the op-ed, and everyone's giving us crap for making money stuff. It blows my mind. Uh, but this is important to know because a lot of people say, "Oh, USA Today, they're not, they're good. You know, they're honest. We believe them." Well, they just removed 23 articles. Uh, says reporter fabricated sources. So, you guys, you got to be careful everywhere. 23 sources from website Thursday after an internal audit concluded that the reporter who wrote them misattributed quotes and in some cases may have fabricated interviews and sources. Breaking news reporter Gabrielle Miranda has resigned from the newspaper, could not be reached. USA has removed nearly two dozen stories she wrote between spring 2021. TikTok bans milk crate challenge. Uh, and spring this year, this is my land, I stay. These Ukrainian women are among thousands choosing to fight, not flee. US Today released a lot of their removed articles as well as a brief account of its investigation in Miranda, which the company said began with an external correction request several weeks ago. Audit eventually brought in to encompass a wide swath of a reporting which focused on trending topics and viral stories. The audit revealed that some of the individual's quota were not affiliated with the organizations claimed and appeared to be fabricated, newspapers said in a statement. The existence of the other individuals quoted could not be independently verified. In addition, some stories included quotes that should have been credited to others. Um, this is scary stuff. And, and, and you know what? I, I, it's happening more often than we're ever going to find out because these people are so desperate for clicks to compete with us nowadays that I do believe, Steph, that they're making more things up or embellishing or, like Amber does, over-exaggerating things. Uh, so we got to be careful out there. And I want to make sure you guys knew, saw this. One of them got caught. Uh, but again, mainstream media being called out for what it is. And it's scary stuff to know that they're completely misquoting. I mean, we know this. We know this is happening, right? But it's just, you know, to see it confirmed from the USA Today is pretty jarring that this happened today. And I want to make sure we reported on it and that you guys were aware. Uh, who's to know how many other articles, right, are going out there, Steph, that aren't? I still remember. God, I, I'm so sad. I was, this was, I, I, it's a story, but um, hot reporter Aaron Couch. Couch. <laughs> Couch. 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 Uh, Couch. Oh, man, he was a, he was a, he was a good guy. He uh, actually um, had my back during the Screen Junkies days, and then he made an article about me when everything went. Yeah. In fact, here it is. Um, I think they did change it eventually, but like this article by Aaron is still to this day used and it's never really been updated. Uh, and that, and what well, with the irony of this article and I, I, he now blocks me cause I've called him out enough times that he doesn't care. He said, he's not he going to correct it. They're never going to correct it. We don't correct old articles, but this article can continues to always haunt me and be out there. It's one of the big ones that's still there. And it's such a incredible accused of is so they're technically i guess it's not a lie anymore uh but two women have come forward with public statements the whole thing just reads like you know multiple people are coming out after me um and they've never changed it they picked the most menacing photo they had and what was so frustrating is i knew this guy this guy aaron i knew him and he was a nerd 
He liked Screen Junkies. He came over, interviews the bus. I have the DMs. I think I've shown them to you, Steph. Or I showed up. To, uh, he literally was like, "Hey, let me know if you ever need to change a story. We'll hook you up." Like this guy was willing when we were friendly to go adjust headlines and do whatever needed to do. And then once I got canceled from Hollywood, wrongfully, uh, radio silence. And, and the dude was at the time like, "Hey, if you have a comment, let me know. Let me know." I had to sue for a year. You remember, Steph? It took me a while to yeah. actually pursue my lawsuit, get the facts straight, make sure it was all legit. Finally, when I came around to telling the truth, sorry, we can't update it. We're not going to update it. It's an old story. We don't go and do that for our pieces. He made that choice, and I'll never forgive him for it. It's, it was such a scummy thing to do when he knows he could have gone and just fixed it. Uh, and it's just sad because it's just another, yet another example of what they do. They don't give a shit. They'll write this, destroy a life even if it's right or wrong, and then move on to the next story. And I, I could tell you hundreds of people who went through, especially through the Me Too movement, how these articles like really destroy your life. The Google rankings and everything about it can haunt you, can keep you from getting gigs, and they don't even care if it's right. And then uh, the, 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 in the U.S., like defamation law is so much harder to, to win. So again, kudos for Johnny. But I, I just, you know, as we, as we prepare to watch the media continue to give Amber Heard airtime, after she's been proven, you know, a liar by a by a jury, uh, you know, they're not interviewing Harvey Weinstein, Steph. They're not interviewing Bill Cosby. They refuse, right? But Amber Heard, oh well, they must. The jury must be wrong. It, it's sickening, and, and to know how the media can just lie and cover things up, it's a scary place we're in. Uh, what, what do you think, man? I knew exactly how this was going to play out uh, when Amber Heard uh, lost that it would be, oh, my goodness, look, the statistics show less than 5% of uh, real survivors, when they go to court, uh, win. And you know what? Lo and behold, look at that. Ain't that just, you know, the way it goes? I'm one of those 95% where I take it to court and I lose. Like, she's spinning it like that. And it's disgusting because it's a case of, no, 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 no. You're not part of the survivorship community. We do not claim you. We see you as a liar. You do not make sense when you discuss what allegedly happened to you. It, it just, it, we've gone through it, so I'm not going to go around in circles, but just kind of just to give you the cliff notes. She ain't part of the survivorship community as far as I'm concerned. It just, it, she does not make sense. But for her to try and twist it and be like, no, I'm part of the survivorship community and look, you know, uh, the statistics show that 95% of the time, real survivors, when they take the monster to court, they're going to lose. And look, do you know, it's just the probability was never going to be in my favor. I was, you know, I lost this, that and the other, but I was still telling the truth. No, 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 you lost. You, the jury listened to all your freaking evidence and thought you were lying and so ruled in Johnny's favour overwhelmingly. Oh, but it's frustrating that she's still trying to peddle this narrative because she, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, is absolutely shizzing and spitting all over the survivorship community right now because she's making it harder for real survivors to actually get their justice. Because everyone sees through her. Everyone sees the, the lie that she is. And it's disgusting. And she needs to shut the hell up, and she needs to go into a corner and freaking live her life in peace. Because she's turning around and she's saying, I want to move on from this. I want Johnny to move on and I want me to move on from this. Well, why are you doing a freaking interview there about it? And prolonging it? This interview's been going on for freaking four or five days. What the frick? Oh. What the frick, indeed! And yeah, I see we got some. Uh, seems we got some feisty ones in the chat. Mods, love our mods. Show our mods some love. And mods, I, I we can activate level two. <laughs> boot these, boot these a holes out of the chat if they're going to be uh, uh, frustrating or uh, 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 calling us out uh, in, in rude ways. Because I don't got time for this. We we uh, p people are upset at our bias stuff. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. You mean towards the upset? truth? Towards the facts? Towards the evidence? Towards the fact that the jury agrees? Yeah, I'm, that's where I'm biased. Hands down, not never never hit it. <laughs> if you're upset, just, you know, there's a bye Felicia. There's, there's an X, X in the button. The yeah. They all yeah, love to be go. here. Bye. All right. Well, here she is. Uh, get ready. Oh, God. <laughs> when is this oh. going to be over? 
I mean, I, you know what? I, I like that there's some supporters of hers here because I'm just, I, why? Why? How are you still supporting this horse? Like, this race is over. She's embarrassing the movement. She's embarrassing victims. It's just so weird to me how there could be people here who are still giving her the benefit of the doubt. And, and clearly just looking for signs to blame Johnny Freverly. Like, look, I, I know a lot of people get upset when we, when people, and I've admitted, yeah, there was mutual abuse. There was. I think she instigated it. I think she's the one who pushed it and like got it to that level. But you know, yeah, he screamed at her. He, he got angry. I, I probably would have too, Steph. <laughs> Let's be clear. I don't know if I would have mm -hmm. had the patience either to, to not fight back, but that's technically what it is. But did he ever resort to actually hitting her? No, I don't believe he did. We got no evidence of it. In fact, all the mountains of evidence she keeps claiming and these new therapy notes, it doesn't prove it. it doesn't prove it. It's again, all hearsay, all Amber saying it, all Amber telling her witnesses, all Amber telling her. Th there's How do you have that incident in Australia and not go to a doctor? And then what's so frustrating is, oh, wait, there was a doctor there, Steph. There was a doctor. There was a nurse. They showed up to treat Johnny. Meanwhile, yeah. Amber's bleeding from all over, right? Bruises, bru bleeding. Didn't the doctor and the nurse who are being recorded, let's remember, this wasn't shown in the trial, uh, but they're being recorded, so they didn't even know it. So they're being as honest as anyone can be, right, Steph? It's like when mm. you're being recorded and you don't know it, you're going to probably, and, and, and especially if Johnny and Amber aren't walking around, you're going to say the truth to your nurse and say, and, and they did. And they admitted that Amber cut it and no, never addressed her, her injuries or any concern for her. And I don't believe for a second, I don't care who they work for. Kipper and nurse Debbie would have absolutely tended to her and been more concerned if what happened happened. Do you disagree? I don't disagree at all. Hippocratic oath all day long. Boom. They would have treated her. They would have noticed something. They would have said something like, oh, mm -hmm. well, I don't know what happened. She it looks like Johnny hit her again. If we had had audio like that, we wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here, to be honest. I wouldn't be fighting this as hard because there would be proof. That would be proof. There's nothing. Instead, the audio proves she cut his finger off. She did it. She's, she's f freaking out, running around. She's apologizing on the video. I don't know what else you guys need, but... Get out of here with your nonsense because that's the truth and you can hear it. And th those audio tapes revealed so much truth that I'm over it. And, and to know that she's lying about that incident is so offensive to real survivors of DV. It's not even funny. And that's why we're so passionate about this. That's why I got the shirt. That's why you guys should get your own shirts. Proceeds will go to the Tampa Bay Crisis Center here. Uh, but yeah, it's still available in the pop. And plus, you can get your rando shirts now. Johnny Depp is innocent. Can I change that to sexual? I got so many uh, things you're going to live. Couch. 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 Keep couch. it in the past tense. Couch. I drink lots of tea. Mega pints. It's all there. Plus, you can get your uh, Popcorn Planet shirts. Uh, I see some people wearing our faces. It's, it's pretty awesome stuff. Mm. But uh, I've got I've got that T-shirt as well with all our faces yeah, on it. It's pretty amazing. It's cool. But uh, you guys can pick up shirts there as well. And 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 uh, we're about uh, five minutes away from the show starting. Speaking of pouch, oh, pouch. Well, I hit the wrong button. Pouch. pouch. Speaking of pouches, <laughs> pouch. pouch. Don't forget, get your twenty percent off sheathunderwear.com, our today's sponsor, which I we won't be promoting as much during the show. So getting the sponsors out now. Please go pick up a pair and impress our sponsors. We appreciate it. They're so comfortable. Uh, I, I mean it. And so you're getting my word. And if you trust me, try it out. And if you don't like it, again, please let me know. I've No one's complained. I've only gotten a, a massive feedback from everybody who's tried it. And uh, I'm a big fan now. So check out your sheath underwear. And, and uh, the dual pouch system will impress you. I promise. There it is. Uh, definitely wow. give it a shot. Uh, all right. So we're as we prep for this interview, uh, Amber is also, which I found very interesting, trying to use this interview to bait Johnny into doing an interview as well, which to me, again, another desperate plan. Uh, Johnny's team has already responded. You're going to see it in the interview because we've seen a lot of this interview already if you've been watching our, clip, our clips. Uh, but Johnny's team has already responded. It's unfortunate that while Johnny is looking to move forward with his life, the defendant and her team are back to repeating, reimagining, and relitigating matters that have already been decided by the court and a verdict that was unequivocally decided by a jury in Johnny's favor, Depp's legal team's hold. Well said. Heard's mm -hmm. legal team responded to Insider, if Mr. Depp or his team have a problem with this, we recommend that Johnny himself sit down with Savannah Guthrie for an hour and answer all her questions. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's going to do it. He has no need no. to do it. 
He already no. won, and he is never going to give Amber something that she wants anymore. Do you do you uh, disagree, Steph? Um, I don't at all. At the end of the day, he has answered all the questions that have, uh, he needed to answer. He's won. There is no need for him to publicly do an interview at all. Um, all he can do, which is the best move, uh, it's a little bit of a chess move, but it's let her hang herself. Let her hang herself. Let, let her spout off in a way. Because she's hanging, hanging herself more. I watched that 20 minutes and it was like, it's unbelievable, but I dislike her even more. And I didn't even think that were possible. And I'm more frustrated with her. She's trying to do this interview to rehabilitate her image, guys. It's a PR move, but it's backfiring because everything I've seen so far and everything she's said so far, I'm like, what the hell is coming out of your gob, lass? This is freaking insane. And all Johnny Depp needs to do is just sit back and freaking laugh. Laugh at the absurdity of what she's still trying to do even to this day. He's got the higher victory. He's got the better victory, which is finally justice in the court system. But he's also got the majority of public opinion backing him. He doesn't need to make a move. He could just sit still and just watch her unravel and hang herself more. Well said. And that's it. I agree so much. Uh, let me read some of your comments as we're getting ready. We're minutes away. Sam Gosney said, please talk about how uh, her bow shirt, a.k.a. Kate Moss's. I didn't, what bow? I missed that. Raggedy Ann, thank you so much. Nancy M, Amber's word, poor Johnny. I never meant to hurt him. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, that was also on tape. Priscilla Powers, uh, thank you, Steph, for healing out loud. You're a light to the community. Yes, she is. Ninja Vesto, sorry about Jill earlier. Steph, stay strong. <laughs> Diana D, love you guys. Missed you, Steph. Needed you. Needed that sass back. We all did. So good to have her back. Blue Garnett, uh, thank you for the chat. And Lady J, Texas Rando. K Bragg, would everyone call it mutual abuse if the genders were reversed, though? Absolutely not. We'd call it self-defense. It's true. Leo McCain, I love your commentary and being biased. Uh, as best as possible and being unbiased as best possible. It's the right way. Always keep a mind, keep that mindset. All of your panel love you all. Yeah, when we make our mind up on something because of the evidence, we go there. But we also can change our minds. If the right, if something's going to come back, and if I heard a tape today of Johnny actually doing the things Amber's saying, I'm going to apologize. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to express that I'm not happy with that. That's just what you do. Until then, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm standing by my convictions of what we know. Lee, a male victim, says, great community, and I love uh, that you are critical with facts. I've been hooked since the turd. Are you highlighting that he's not from... Are you highlighting that he's not from the social media era and that's probably why he's not responding to her childish sandcastle games? It's a good point. Johnny doesn't do social media. I mean, he does, but I'm sure he doesn't get it the same way uh, as others because he wasn't born there and uh, he doesn't have to do it. And so um, I'm sure that's part of it. I'm sure that's part of it. He's very careful. His team helps him craft some cool artistic more stuff. Yuki Haimi, I'm, I'm set that AH, um, uh, what is this? Sorry. Her lies aside that drug use is, uh, her lies aside AH has admitted to drug use. Isn't that against her contract? Is WB also supporting drug habits? It kind of seems that way. Gypsy Girl, let her series finale blackout like The Sopranos. I wouldn't have seen the light without all of you. So thank you for your amazing work. You all deserve a long holiday. She just had one. I'll have one soon. Uh, all right, I'm keeping an eye. It's going to start in a minute. There'll be a little intro. I'll get to you Woo! once the interview starts. We are, Steph, let me know. Lady, um, Amber Turd, dictionary. What did I just do? Don't do that. Uh, Amber Turd, dictionary, my truth, lies, pledge, paid donation, therapist notes, medical proof, records. He also did so much more. Keep it up going. When we report on it all, we will continue to. Shauna Williams, thought I would share. I'm a professional pet groomer with a small shop in Peasantville, Tennessee. I have a pup. His name is Captain Jack Sparrow. Brilliant name. Sam Butters, thank you for becoming a member. A lot of members are snooing. Eve Barlow's Rotten Crotch says, might buy hey. a pair of those shorts. That pouch looks handy for holding my swollen licorice and rotten flaps. <laughs> it would be great for your uh, rotten crotch. Don <laughs> Lucerio, I think that Johnny is going to have more security. Amber is just crazy enough to hire someone to make Johnny disappear. Uh, wait, Amber is crazy. Yeah, to make, some, to make Johnny disappear. Don't trust that woman. I wouldn't either. I don't think that could happen. I don't think she has much juice to do that, but who knows? Nor the money. Layla, did you guys see... Oh, what's happening here? Are we back yet? I want to like me, but I asked the jury to just see me as human. 
There's no polite way to say it. The jury looked at the evidence you presented, they listened to your testimony, and they did not believe you. How could they not come to that conclusion? They heard over three weeks of non-stop, relentless testimony. I'm a hysterical woman. I'm a crazy woman. I can't be trusted. The DEP team argued that you were the abuser. You instigated physical violence. I never had to instigate it. I responded to it. Never had to. <laughs> so this is sense. a trial run amok, played out on TikTok and social media. Are you nervous as we are here today about what you can say now? Of course. I did everything I could to stand up for myself and the truth. <sighs> oh, God, I'm sick already. Ugh. Oh. oh God! All right. As much as I can not show of the show, I'm not going to show you. But show co-anchors. Once the show comes back, I'm going to show you there. This is the Dateline special. We are starting. That was a little promo. Some people might ask, why? Are you brave? Are you reckless? Are you vindictive? Yes. Why vindictive. did you want to do an interview? The one thing I can tell you is. Um, one thing I'm not is vindictive. <laughs> I mean, there's no part of me oh. that sees any, um, <laughs> this would be a really lousy way to get vengeance. <laughs> what do you hope to get across here? You've had everything said about you. What do you wish people knew? You know, Savannah, as this silly as it is to say this out loud, my goal the only thing I could hope for at this point is just want people to see me as a human being. Tonight, we talk with Amber Heard, the Good woman luck, at the center of one of the yeah. most sensational luck, media girl. spectacles Shut in recent memory. This is a case about the impact of Amber Heard's words on Johnny Depp. For six weeks, millions of viewers around the world were glued to their screens, hanging on every moment of this courtroom slugfest between Hollywood Keep an stars. Eye on these packages. The next move is was it pro just Johnny or against? It's, it's always a good sign. She clocked me in the jaw. It just hit me over and over and over again, and I thought, this is how I die. The trial made public a volatile marriage with private moments caught on tape. I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Oh. For some people, they just were frankly disgusted by the whole thing and don't have much sympathy for either one of you. Can you understand that? <laughs> Absolutely. I can understand that. I would not blame the average person for looking at this and how it's been covered and not think that it is Hollywood brats at their at their worst. I but what people don't understand is it's it's actually so much bigger than that. This is uh this is not only about our first amendment right to speak. But here's the thing about the first amendment. The first mm -hmm. amendment protects free speech. It doesn't protect lies that amount to defamation. And that was the issue in the case. Yes, exactly. Free speech does not protect you if you you know, go into a crowded theater and you scream fire. We get the concept of free speech from, the, from Greeks. the Greeks. But my understanding of what that means is not just the freedom to speak. She gets her idea of free speech. It's a freedom from the to Greeks. speak truth to power. But truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And that's the all Aristotle I spoke. and Plato, is she referencing so that. How did it all come to this? What the hell? Down the road. Oh, I want to learn Greek history with Amber Heard. Can we Amber get that Amber Laura Heard grew up outside Austin, Texas. <laughs> One of those mass big Welcome to master class. Stardom. Greek mythology After moving with to Los Amber Angeles Heard. at the age of 17. No, no, she no, no. booked a string of TV she's and movie roles. Greek mythology. No, I'm I just think joking. she's referencing 2009, play she got on a call Aristotle. that would change her life. They did a lot in terms of It was from superstar Johnny Depp. Uh, yeah. I don't think she knows what she's saying. in a film called The Rum Diary. Oh, poor Johnny. He was 46. She was half his age, 23. Oh. He's such a pleasure to work with. He's a, what a monster. He's even better than I could have imagined him to be, which is saying something. <laughs> After so several years of dating, then. the couple got engaged. Is that an engagement ring? Does that mean you're engaged? Would you, what would you consider it? I think you look engaged. Congratulations. Thank you. 
She's a wonderful girl. Oh. And very good for me. You know. But the so marriage sad. didn't last long. In May 2016, Amber went to court asking a judge for a restraining order against her husband, alleging domestic abuse. Months later, Amber dropped the restraining order and they divorced. And it seemed like the Depp Heard saga might end there. What? Should we in 2018, she landed her biggest role yet in Aquaman. And ruined it. That same year, as yeah. the Me Too movement was in full swing, she wrote this now infamous op-ed for the Washington Post. It included a key line, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse. You've said many times you just wanted to go on with your life. Mm -hmm. When you wrote the op-ed, it raised all of this again. Why did you do that if you wanted to just Good go on and put this Boo! past you? The, because the op-ed wasn't about my relationship with Johnny. But it alluded to him. It, it was that, unmistakable. It, you know, yes. what the op-ed was about was, um, you know, me loaning my voice to a bigger cultural conversation that we were having at the time. It was about reforms, uh, legislative reforms, uh, renewing the Violence Against Women Act. Did you and worry? Johnny Depp. Gosh, I'd love yeah. to be a person weighing in on these cultural issues, but that's going to stir this all up oh, again. Brilliant follow-up. You know, that that's a, a great question <laughs> and one that I wish was considered more seriously because it's important. When you wrote this op-ed, so, it was yes, the height I of Me up. Too. Legions of powerful men being canceled, losing their jobs. Did you want that to happen to Johnny Depp? Of course not. Ha! It wasn't about him. Johnny, Johnny. How many times but throughout the Johnny Depp case, disagreed he filed a $50 million him? defamation yeah. lawsuit against we her. We know this history. They, they, they talked about how it was a... Uh, about him multiple times before. throughout this trial she talked about yeah. that it was about you him that you've been found liable for defamation against johnny depp having been found liable are you nervous as we are here today Should about be. what you can say now of course i took for granted what i assumed was my right to speak not just about what I lived through, but what I knew. Do you feel like you could be sued again by him for defamation? I'm terrified, which is what I guess a defamation lawsuit is meant to do. It's meant to... Tell the truth. To take your voice. No. No. That's when not what it, that's not what it's meant to be. All right, as they come back. Everybody, uh, yeah, we have to offer commentary, no. guys. I'm trying my best to keep us live, but if we don't offer commentary... Well, then we're just ripping the show. And we are offering commentary because this is broadcast news. And it's incredibly important. I responded to it. And this is, they're doing a tease for you. If it meant the diff They're doing a tease. Coming up. I hate when they do that. I hate my TLC, all these shows. They'll spend 10 minutes playing the clip that's coming up. And then uh, repeat it again when we come back. Uh, all right. Well, there's now we're up for commercial break. Uh, during commercials, I will attempt to read your comments if I'm behind. And also check up. Um, uh... Don, thank you. I think Johnny's going to have to more security uh, to hire someone. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Thank you. I just saw Not Your Cat loaning her voice to is admitting to lie, lying. Is it not? Yeah, true. I mean, I was loaning my voice to this movement. Uh, Lupe Gonzalez says, Steph, I love your, new your lighter hair color. Yeah, it looks great, Steph. Thank you. New adventure, new me. So smart. I did that uh, as well. It's good to... It's good to cut it off sometimes or change it up. I'm upset uh, WB has kept her. Yes, Yukiyama, I know. Lee, thank you again for that. We got there. Leo McCain, I love your commentary. Uh, uh, thank you again. We got that. K Bragg, would anyone else? We got that one. Sorry, I'm behind. I'm going to make sure I've caught everybody. Please talk about the bow shirt. I don't know that. Okay, Hillbilly, I tried to get on the call, but somehow got... Sorry, I don't know what happened. Uh, but thank you. James, JD, only... Should only say if AH goes on Dr. Phil. Oh, God. Carlos, says Andy check your PayPal because I donated. I love the work you do. Would love... Uh, would love I prop named me would love a prop named after me Carlos I'll check it out did you do a big donation cash apps also a good way to support us uh yeah they, they Amber hates when you guys pay us so it's a yeah. little en <laughs> encouragement uh all these the media everyone can't stand how uh people are getting paid Carlos I'm looking for you I don't see it uh tell me when or hit me up on telegram maybe it was under a different name but I will try and check uh later I, I didn't get that alert 
but I will check back. So let me know, Carlos. Daisy, thank you so much. We're still doing commercial break, guys. Um, I'm just trying to rush through my comments, so I'm caught up so I can try and read your comments in between the commercial breaks, which is what's happening right now. We are in between commercial breaks. Thanks to all the members who renewed their two-month. Just happened. Let's see. Oh, my God. That was a lot of them. I got to scroll through all of that. Steph, what do you think so far? Oh, wait. Sorry. Let me get... I got it. St Stacey Brooks, she just wants to be... She wants to be in this life somehow. His his life somehow. Absolutely. She does not want to leave. Nameless Rando. Popcorn Planet Family. Happy Friday. Lisa says, Aquaman! <laughs> K rocks. Oh, my God. Guess what's on film for Gone Girl? Uh, Lara Lou, so happy to watch while supporting you and not Amber. I watched the entire trial and made my decision. Happy the jury agreed. Uh, well said, Lara. Sarah Grubouts, AH could turn around, get the treatment she needs, uh, and become a real spokesman as a DV survivor and single mother of a child with BPD. From my accuser, the disorder is misunderstood. She has a lot of opportunities to redeem herself. She just doesn't want to take any accountability, so I don't see it happening. Jade Lemon uh, Day, hey, both Steph... I'm glad you're as mad as me in the UK watching at 1 a.m. This is going to get juicy. Let's go. Much love to you both. Raquel McClure, DV survivor here. Someone asked AH what she felt what she felt when she heard JD's key slide in the lock, then compare that to the object her that a true DV survivor describes. Well said. Colin Zandy, AH cannot control JD anymore. He is free and she can't handle it. I so agree with that. This is all about controlling him still. They keep trying to say he's controlling her, right, Steph? Throughout it, through by dragging her to trial, but no, I, I think it's happening right now. The other way around. Absolutely. Lady P80, where can I see and hear the talk between the doc and the nurse? Uh, look up the Australian audio. Uh, you can look up on my video on my channel, uh, the Australian audio tape. Still instigating again who is the aggressor? KG Grass asks, Michael Clark says, of course. Caddy, Steph, you got this girl. People watch internet journalists because of all the lies, gasling that we see in the mainstream media spin like mutual. They do a job, therefore get paid. NBC providing a platform for continued abuse and slander. Amen. That's why we're trying to help it here. If we get shut down, I'm, so I'm, I'm trying to do my best. Broadcast, it's fair. Fair use. Jennifer fair Sessman, use. thank you. Fair use. Fair use. All right. They're back. They're doing a little recap. Uh, Natalie Ball, thank People you so much. The streets waiting for a glimpse of None of the, when you look at the line streets, I, it, it's very important to point out, up, no one has carpet, death to amber to signs. They, she keeps that? What did you see out the window of that car? Watch. Every single day, I passed city blocks lined with people holding signs saying things that I couldn't repeat on television. Lies. And they had to establish barricades to protect me so I could drive into a protected entrance of the courthouse. Every single day, that's how I walked in the court. There were more people waiting for her inside, packing the courtroom and Ooh. watching from home. Amber's lawyers Real had fought people. to keep TV cameras Ooh. out, but lost. I didn't want this to be a thing. I didn't want it to be <laughs> I, I a trial. Know. I didn't want it to be a part of the public record. I but when why. someone sues you, you don't really have a choice. With the burden of proof you'd on think him, you'd want Johnny to sue him, Steph, if he did the things he did, to prove right? Defamation, yeah. his lawyers needed to prove show it. that Amber's For claims victims. of abuse were Don't false just write an op -ed. and had hurt his career. Mr. Depp, have you ever physically assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Have you ever sexually assaulted? We know all assaulted? this. Sorry, I uh, just trying to offer commentary when they're so the interview Sorry. portions. If she, if he really caused this abuse, you'd world. think she'd want to sue him and get it cleared, him. right? She's doing everything she can to avoid trial because she knows. She it didn't there happen. There was an abuser in the courtroom, but it wasn't him. It was Amber. Yep. She has a need for conflict. She but the thing is, she's violence. saying, oh my goodness, you know, uh, I have to be protected, and so nowhere. I have to get into Depp described a particularly a gear, violent fight they had that, when he was filming in like, Australia. Well, hang on a minute. He said Amber threw Johnny a vodka bottle this at him. This is new. Entrance. Hold on. This is, wait. Oh. Made contact. They haven't shown this portion yet. Shattered. Uh, everywhere. And then I looked down and... I mean, we know this, but I don't remember this that, cue uh, up. The, the tip of my finger had been severed. Depp's attorneys showed the jury photos of injuries they said Amber had inflicted on Depp and asked members of his security staff to tell the jury what they'd seen. I heard and we know, saw... Right, we know all this. Go ahead, Steph. What are you going to say? Yeah, there's, so there's, she turns around and she's like, uh, you know, I uh, I went through this special entrance, you know, that was gated and guarded because of all the Johnny Depp fans. Oh, my goodness. Well, firstly, was there wasn't one placard that I saw that said Depp to Amber Heard. Secondly, there we go. Sorry, back. were the abuser that you instigated physical violence? Did you? 
I never had to instigate it. I responded to it. When you're living in violence and it becomes normal, as I testified to, you have to adapt. You adopt strategies to cope with it. If, and if it meant, as I testified to, if it meant the difference between a broken nose or a, a, a sore cheek, I would do it. What about the witnesses who said they have seen you instigate physical violence? Did they all come in and lie in court? I'm, you know, less interested in sitting here, you know, relitigating it with you. I am not here to call any of. Yeah, she says I testified witnesses. to this. She doesn't want to relitigate, but oh, we're gonna. But you are relitigating this right now. Any names? I'm not here to do that. I'm, I'm here to, just kind of talk about it from, yeah. what it felt like for me as the person who, sat there. There was one more voice Depp's legal team wanted the jury to hear, Amber's. They had audio recordings of the couple talking about how Amber sometimes got physical. I'm gonna smack my ear again. So it resounds in my cranium. Did you like that? I love you. Huh? I love you, I'm sorry. In another recording, Amber was less apologetic. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But also, I guys, I see a lot of people confused. This is an hour you. version I'm of the 20 minute installments we saw, so there's there like. Are tapes Pits in which are you new. acknowledge hitting. We've seen there this portion. There are tapes in which you say, I started the fight. I know much has been made of, of these audio tapes. And as I testified on the stand, what you would hear in those clips are not evidence of what was happening. It was evidence of a negotiation of how to talk about that with your negotiation. Your but I am looking at a transcript that says, he says, you start physical fights and you say, I did start a physical fight. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did. But you're just telling me today, I never started a physical fight, and here you are on tape saying you did. As I testified on the stand about this, <laughs> no. is that when that? your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things that oh, you shouldn't take so the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic psychologically, emotionally, and physically, you don't have the luxury of saying, hey, this is black and white, because it's anything but when you're living in it. He and says he never hit you. Never. Is that a lie? Yes, it is. He says he's never struck any woman. His lawyers argued at trial. None of his other prior relationships, not one Which woman has one come of them forward and said he physically hit them. You were the only one. Look what happened to me when I came forward. Yeah. Would you? Oh, that right oh there. God. That oh, right so there. Oh, my God. What she just did, it was tell victims not to come forward because they'll attack you like they attacked me. She's the one holding victims back. And and how yeah. dare she try to imply that Winona Ryder's not strong enough to confront an abuser? How dare she tell Vanessa Paradis she's not strong enough to have Kate Moss? How dare she speak for those women and say, how could they? How could they? Would you? Yeah, a lot of women do. A lot of women are, have the strength to do it, and every woman and man still should, right? The fact that she, we're in commercial break, the fact that she just said that made me so furious. Steph, go ahead. I'm strong enough to step forward and say what happened to me. Screw you, Amber Heard. Seriously. Screw you. Bloody hell. When we've got the truth on our side, we stand up, we rise up, and we tell the truth. What happened to you happened to you because you lied. The jury even ruled on it. You defamed Johnny. You lied in the article. It's as simple as that. When you lie, you get screwed. Simple as that. But again, she's trying to spin it. Oh, look, you know, uh, no, no wonder survivors don't come forward because, you know, look what happens when you come forward. Chances are, because the statistics are there, that you're going to fail 95%. And I got in there, the 95%. There you go. Oh. Seriously, she needs... Oh. And the, uh, as I was saying earlier on, this thing of her turning around and saying, you know, uh, I, I, I had to go into a courtroom, but it had to be in a protected area with the bars and, and the thing and everything. Uh, girl, uh, Johnny Depp went through the same entrance as you. 
She made it out as if the court had arranged that because of all the crazy Johnny Depp fans that were outside holding these blackouts, making her somehow feel unsafe and everything. All they were doing was booing her. Booing her. That was it. Oh, she spins things so awfully. It's so freaking transparent how she's spinning it. But there are a lot of people that are going to fall for this. Do not be one of those idiots and fall for this. Because this is ridiculous. This is insane. Use the brain cells between <laughs> your ear holes and just utilize a little bit of critical thinking. And think about it. Is what she is saying make any logical sense whatsoever? And to me, hell no, it doesn't. She's spinning a narrative here. Distorting what happened, distorting the reality to suit her narrative. This is insane what she's doing. And again, all Johnny has to do is sit back, uh, play with Jeff Beck, uh, do his music, do his tour, and not do a thing about this. She's just hanging herself right now. This is the hanging of Amber Heard, as you can see right here. She's hanging herself with the words. I'm also just going to shut the comment, the whole comments down if you guys don't listen to me. So everyone who's... Compl Stop complaining that we're talking! I'm literally just going to shut it off! You can go find your own way to watch it, or you can shut up and watch it the way we are presenting it to you, because it's the only way I'm allowed to present it to you. So shut up! You shut up! You shut up! I'm sorry, I can't read any comments because you guys don't listen. I have to talk, you idiots. I can't just illegally stream the television for you. If you want to do that, you go do that on your channel, you morons. Stop telling me to shut up and you shut up and I'm going to start muting you all if you keep doing that because you clearly aren't here to be part of our community. You're just here to watch a TV show. Then pay the money and go watch it yourself and leave us the damn alone, all right? My God, these people are making me nuts. Free entertainment, it's never enough, Steph. Jesus Christ. And they're not even listening. Shut up, shut, shut up, up. You shut, shut up. up. Shut shut up. up. Shut up. Stop up. talking over the city. Stop talking. Go watch it on TV and give NBC the money then, you jerks. All right, here we go. With the same substantive <laughs> issues, handled differently by a, a judge instead of a jury. Johnny Depp sued The Sun, a British tabloid, over an article it published describing him as a wife beater. The case went to trial two years ago in the UK. There were no cameras in court. The judge in that case found that most of Amber Heard's allegations of abuse were substantially true. Johnny How Depp has she was lost in UK. his legal battle with a British tabloid. We prevailed overwhelmingly. <laughs> but the jury in the US trial judge. wasn't allowed to hear about that judgment. And Amber says that by the time she got up to tell her side of the story, I do. The court of public opinion here had already turned against her. After three and a half weeks, I took the stand and saw the courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans oh. who were vocal, energized, who had came, come from Dude. all ends of the world. We've been here all night long. I took two buses, two trains, and I had to walk How half does an she hour. Know they like and Jack the Sparrow. jury saw all of that. During five days on the stand, Amber told her version of the toxic relationship. She said the physical abuse began when they were first dating and continued throughout their marriage. And I was walking out of the bedroom, slapped me across all the right, face. This is stuff I, I turned I just, to look at him. You giant. And I said, Johnny, you hit, hit me. me. You just hit my me. dog stepped on a bee. I, I testified <laughs> on the stand. I got hit for a very long time before I knew how to even try to defend myself. Oh, Amber on. said the abuse usually happened in private, but told the jury Depp once kicked her on a plane in front of his entourage. I felt so embarrassed that he could kick me to the ground in front of people. In all, she described at least 12 times when Depp hit her. And he's punching me, punching me with a close fist punching me. She said it often happened when he was drunk or on drugs. Right now, as you sit here today, do you stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse? Of course, and I will to my dying day. I know what happened to me. That's I'm to Johnny. here as a survivor. I, oh. to my dying day, will stand by every word of my testimony. To support her allegations, her attorney showed photos of injuries they said were caused by Depp. 
one alleged beating happened in 2015, before Amber appeared on The Late Late Show with James Corden. Exhibit 16. A makeup artist saw Amber the day of the alleged incident and said she didn't see any injuries. But the next day... She had a discoloration here, under both eyes and on the bridge of the, and the, bridge of the nose. Uh, and she had what I would call a split lip. If I witness... Or... A nurse testified she saw Amber's bloody lip. And she... Because she chewed her lip all the time! Of, uh, the altercation yeah. with Mr. Duck, right? And Amber's sister took the stand and told the story of one fight that she said included Depp hitting her, something Depp denies. He comes up behind me, strikes me in the back, kind of just somewhere over here. He strikes me in the back. I hear Amber shout, don't hit my sister. She smacks him, lands one. And then he grabbed Amber by the hair with one Interesting hand how the door reference Jennifer in the Howell. Face of the other. Mm -mm. Who Mr. completely refused Amber's side also played its own snippets that didn't of get audio. Into court. Amber Just talking to Depp about acts of violence. Put your cigarettes out on someone else. You have consequences for your actions. That's it. Shut up, fat ass. A week prior, after you beat the out of me. What happened? Then there was this video. That she leaked to TMZ and shot yeah. while he lost $650 million. You I don't think so. She keeps pushing him in this video. I can't stand this video gameplay. He does nothing wrong in this video. You would agree that you were violent in that clip, correct? Um, clearly I was having a bad time. Yes, you didn't I, I did assault um, a couple of cabins, but I did not touch Miss Hurd. You, you poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of is. red wine. Correct? A mega pint. <laughs> yeah. I poured myself a large glass of wine. Right. And remember what Depp said about that fight in Australia when his finger was severed? Amber denied hurting him and said on that trip, she was the real victim. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> Amber oh, went on to describe no a harrowing incident of sexual abuse. She's she trying so hard. that Depp assaulted her with a bottle. But I could just feel this pressure. Oh. I remember her. They just not wanting to move. <sighs> because I didn't know if the bottle that he had inside me was broken. How do you not know that? In that courtroom, I am testifying about it about sexual assault and domestic violence next to a jury in front of a whole packed courtroom yeah. of people who are expressing their vocal support and Don't disdain for me. Amber had told her story. What the fuck is she talking about? Now not she would be to forced to defend stuff. it. It's insane what she's saying. Coming up. All right, it's commercials now coming in, but uh, that's such horseshit how she keeps trying to, sp she's so good at exaggerating but if you actually pay attention, so full shit. No one in the court is allowed to be vocal. Like that's the thing. You weren't allowed to wear Captain Jack Sparrow shirts. No, you, you don't really know. There's some laughing on both sides. Amber laughed a few times too. I don't understand mm. what she's fucking talking about. It, the only one who was unruly in the court was her own friend Eve Barlow, who got kicked out of court. Yeah. It's the only person who got kicked out of court, Amber. You want to keep exaggerating and moving the facts around so people just buy your nonsense. But we're going to continue to call it out. Um, Oh, it, this is frustrating. And the packages are frustrating, too. Uh, Natalie, what's up? It's sickening. I was a victim of verbal abuse for the first marriage in 80 years. Dealing with verbal, uh, it got physical. I was out. Um, Trinity Hoffensreiter, can you put in captions on the show? No, it's live. I can't do that. It's it's live, guys. Brianna Johnson, you can put captions on your YouTube player, and it should give you an automated one. It's the best we can do. Brianna Johnson, they showed the picture of her uh, holding the tampon applicator. Yep. They use that, for, use that for cocaine. Not your cat. Loaning her voice is admitting lying. Yes. Lupe Gonzalez. Steph, I love your letter hair. Okay, what? Uh, other world, the oddities. AH has gone from Aquaman to Saquaman. <laughs> Mike the Teddy Crosby. Love that I didn't have to go to turn on the TV. P.S. Did you read that right? Did I read that right? Correct, correct. 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 Storm Dancer, they forgot that two years ago I became. Uh, didn't she counter sue for defamation? She did. She won one. Uh, let's see, Jessica, others, thank Erica, thank you. Marcus, freedom of speech was actually founded by America in, in 1791. Greece came up with the, without, without modern day demo 
democratic, free, and fair living. Nothing to do with F. So she's wrong. I, I, I thought so. Flexo, did you notice that they didn't use the full quote? They left out two years ago. Yeah, they're trimming a lot. Margaret Lowe, how will Tur deal with Johnny finds new love? Oh, she'll hate that. Black Crow mm. Feathers says she's the voice of her own lies. Thank you so much for covering this trial and giving your own opinions. Been a lurker for a few months. Big fan. Thank you, Black Crow, for stepping up. Just wiggling through life. I just saw your 50. I'm so damn tired of hearing about how much of a fan or I am a better yet. Now I'm a rando. I keep, I'm here just listening for one reason, justice and pain for JD, because I know the pain is relentless pursuit of an a-hole that never stops. Gaslighting. Amen. Picky pink. Uh, yeah. AH, if AH makes sense to you, I have two words. Seek help. For F's sake, seek help now. Love Steph. Go off Steph. From all of us in Europe, love from your uh, Norway. Candace oh. Skolf just said as a rap, oh, as an R survivor, this makes me ill. Not like I'm triggered way, but in a genuinely disgusted as this woman. I want her to know she doesn't speak for me. Well, there you go. We just told you, told her for you, Candace. Diana D, all clips and video together to make him look bad. It's same excuse as when Depo, all lawyers are looking at me. Now people at court, now people in court. Yeah, everyone's always out to get her. That's always what's happening. Amy, uh, Alon, I'm angry that there are some people in here who are being mean to Steph. Uh, aren't the mods supposed to be dealing? Yeah, but there's literally 35,000 people. They're trying their best and it's going by very quickly. Just uh, they will get to it. The ah, yes. let, him, let him be me. We're, we're good. We're, we're we're going thanks, above that. that. Thanks, Jenny, th thanks for the uh, view, guys, and thanks for the um, what is it? Uh, what's it called? The interaction, engagement. Yeah, this video even more. Thank you so much and supporting because Amber heard it will hate seeing all those super chats on top. Mm. Uh, and, and you can also use the stream elements in the pinned comment to uh, support as well. Cash app. Those are other ways. I'll be checking through out there. Any attention is better than no attention for Amber. Dr. Curry is being proven correct over and over again. Correct, correct. Tina Kogan, correct, Rando from correct, Michigan. Correct, What's up, correct. Randos? To all the Randos. I'm angry there. So, uh, there we go. Any attention is better. All right, and then we had, thanks again, Black Crow Feathers, Rebecca Swanson, Sir D2. We're in the com we're in a commercial break, guys, so I'm just waiting. Uh, everyone, do the Amber Challenge. One shot each time she lies. Oh, I don't want to die, Sir D2. D2. <laughs> Fiery <laughs> Phoenix. Everyone has the right to speak, including Randos. April Wright says, so she wanted to be left alone. Why keep doing interviews? That's what I'm asking. Uh, Michelle Dower, and dis it's disgusting how they keep giving her airtime. I hope she gets dem uh, demolished in this interview and goes away to focus on her kid instead. Also, Steph, how are you wearing a jacket in this heat in the UK? Uh, yeah. It's uh cold where I'm at. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, we're back. Here comes after the verdict. Your lies have been exposed to the world multiple times, right? I haven't lied about anything I've been here to say. After describing the abuse she says she suffered at the hands of Johnny Depp, Amber Heard then faced his attorney, Camille Vasquez. Ms. Heard? Ms. Like Heard? Vasquez set out to convince jurors her. they couldn't trust a word that came out of Amber's mouth. You got physical with Mr. Depp often during your relationship, didn't you? I had to defend myself as best I could. You just couldn't control yourself, could you, Ms. Heard? Who was the real monster in this relationship, Ms. Heard? Depp's team argued that Amber had a history of being untruthful. Case in point. Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. They played a clip from an interview on Dutch TV where she said she had donated her seven million dollar divorce settlement to charity. But it was revealed at trial that you haven't done so yet. Do you think that raised questions as to your credibility with the jury? Well, I think, you know, look, when you say to someone, I bought a house. Are you lying? Because you have not paid for it in full at that point. <laughs> I made a, a pledge, what? and you took a. I take a loan from a bank to get a mortgage that I pay every month. Yes, you've paid none of it. Pledge. I don't pledge to buy a house. <laughs> oh my God! What is this? that's a new quote? What? Did she hold on. Sorry, I know. Now we're gonna. I'll, I'll catch up in the commercial. I gotta go back 15 seconds and watch that again. One. Divorce settlement to charity, Wait, but that's a it new was revealed added. at trial that you haven't done so yet. Do you think that raised questions as to your credibility with the jury? Well, I think, you know, look, when you say to someone, I bought a house, are you lying? Because you have not paid for it in full at that point. <laughs> I'm I made on the a, hook too. a pledge. You didn't sign a, a mortgage. That pledge. <laughs> is made over time by its nature. You're splitting hairs a little bit there because when you say I donated, you know that everybody thinks that you've donated it, not that you've pledged it. So 
So the jurors sitting there, do you think they felt like that was you getting caught in a lie? I, I don't know because so much of the, I feel like so much- Stall, stall, stall. Of the trial was meant to- Didn't answer the question. Cast aspersions on who I am as a human, my credibility, oh. to call me a liar in, in every way you can. And that more. was the trial. It yeah. was a credibility contest. Yeah. Depp's she team lost. also painted she her as an like attention she, seeker. She pushed her on that one. She wrote that, that 2018 op-ed to and coincide she never the with question, the release mind you. of Aquaman. No. And they suggested this was a publicity stunt, a way to raise your profile at a time when these issues were quite relevant. It was one of those few moments of levity in the trial when I heard it suggested that my op-ed in the Washington Post could potentially boost sales for an international multi-million dollar superhero franchise movie that I was starring in. It's the other way around. You know, if anything, we were trying to get more awareness and attention on the issues within the article. It wasn't a publicity stunt or a way to it's the yeah, opposite. For you, you know, Amber. Depp's lawyers it wasn't a publicity stunt for Aquaman. Oh my God. Stories of abuse. It wasn't a Depp. publicity stunt for Aquaman. No one's ever said that. It's a publicity stunt for you because yeah. you're not Aquaman. Jason Momoa is Aquaman. His friends testified about that fight on a plane when Amber says he That was also her. new. And, and it's your testimony that Mr. Depp didn't kick Amber? I, I didn't see anything like that. And to counter the photographic evidence of Amber's injuries, Depp's lawyer showed the jury a slew of pictures of the actress looking unblemished after the alleged abuse. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? That's why I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> Amber testified that some of the photos Depp's lawyers Making brought to makeup. court were taken days, even Monica weeks cream. after the alleged injuries occurred. <laughs> cream. What Could I you... learned in that trial is it's, it's never going to be good enough if you have proof, then you it was a scheme. It was a hoax. If you don't have proof, it didn't happen. If you have a bruise, it's fake. If you don't have a bruise, then it did, violence clearly didn't hurt you. If you told people, then you're hysterical. If you didn't tell anyone, it didn't happen. Tell people about when it came to Amber's most <laughs> it's all, she's like telling everyone how to beat a charge. Like here's how to uh, here's how to, to make sure no one believes any DV survivors. Uh, explosive testimony. You didn't have any of that evidence. Amber. Depp's team pointed out the allegations only came up after her divorce. Yep. In court, attorney Camille Vasquez pulled no punches. You testified you bled from your vagina as a result of that sexual assault. Yes. There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? I did not seek uh, medical treatment after Australia, no. Oh, because I had Amica rape? cream. No, I did not want to tell anyone. There's no experience like being cross-examined. What was that experience like for you? One of the scariest, most intimidating thing for anybody talking about sexual violence oh. is not being believed, being called a liar, or being humiliated. Throughout the trial, both sides fought to get additional evidence in front of the jury to bolster their claims. Women lie Some of it was about deemed hearsay under the rules of evidence and declared inadmissible by the judge. Is there one piece of evidence that you wish the jury had seen? that you could point to, you say, oh, this would have made the difference. Yeah. What is it? There's a, a binder worth of years of notes dating back to 2011 from the very beginning of my relationship that were taken by my doctor who I was reporting the abuse to. That doctor was Amber's therapist at the time. We looked at notes the doctor took during some of their sessions, which show that as far back as 2012, Amber was talking about physical abuse. In January of that year, she told her therapist, Depp hit her, threw her on the floor. Eight months after that, ripped her nightgown, threw her on bed. And in 2013, the therapist's notes say he threw her against a wall and threatened to kill her. I am talking about what's happening to me 
in real time when she was taking contemporaneous notes of what was happening. Amber's lawyers also showed us text messages that were excluded from trial, like this one she sent to another therapist saying, Johnny did a number on me. I thought I had a concussion. And this text message she says she sent to her father after that disputed incident on the plane. She wrote, he kicked me in front of everyone. I testified I was attacked on that flight and I was attacked in front of people. And I, when I got off the plane, sent messages to people about what had happened. I'm angry because this happened. Can you believe he did this and this and this, you know? And one of the people I reached out to was my father. Depp's lawyers say the judge's rulings were fair, and a Depp spokesperson told us it's unfortunate that the defendant and her team are back to repeating, reimagining, and relitigating matters that have already been decided by the court. Amber thinks the case wasn't just decided inside the courtroom. She believes what happened outside made all the difference. Coming up. Coming the majority up. Of this trial was more clear. coming up. All right, Steph, any thoughts before I read more comments? Why the hell in the first place, if those notes were going to be a game changer for her case, why did the judge not allow those notes to be in court in the first place? Dateline should have, in terms of balanced reporting, should have said, okay, well, this is what Amber said, but bear in mind, the judge didn't let it in because, uh, you say there was nothing to validate or back up uh, those documents, so it wasn't allowed in court, but they didn't say that. So that's an absolute fail as far as I'm concerned for Dateline and quite a pro-Amber kind of move there. Um, this whole thing of the uh, that bit uh, where they teased, oh, well, it was also decided um, what was happening outside influenced what was decided in court. The judge, every single day, said to the sodding jury, stay away from social media, stay away from news, stay away from outside sources that's reporting on this trial right now. You need to be insulated, this, that, and the other. She's basically turning around and saying that the jury didn't do exactly what they were supposed to do. Yeah, it's wild. You know it's not wild, stuff. Go on. Pouch. Pouch! Pouch! Pouch. Pouch. We have our own sponsor. As we're waiting for commercials, we're going to do our commercial for sheath underwear. Yeah, it's got the dual parts comp pouch compartment, and so many love it. It's my favorite underwear. I'm not just saying that because they're my sponsor. It's so comfy. It's so soft. It's amazing. And yes, it's got a pouch for your your uh, hot dog and your uh, uh, tennis balls. Uh, I sorry, that was a really bad one. But you know what I'm saying. And all your twig and your berries, they all get to go in. There's one for each. I know it seems weird. I saw this too, guys. And I was like, what? I don't want to sponsor this. What is it? But it's amazing. It's the best of boxers and briefs combined that I've ever had. Usually I like boxers, but they've gotten a little tight. These are nice little looser, but still comfy. Ladies, pick up a pair for your man. Men, try one for yourself. Uh, use code POPCORN to check out for 20%. And why do you want to support them? Because they support us. They sponsored us today. I love them. This is their third time back. You guys love them. You've been supporting them. Please uh, go. Mods are sharing a link. Pick up a pair of sheath underwear and get the best pair of underwear you're going to get. It's cool. It's comfortable. I'm telling you, I love these things. And uh, try the pouch out, fellas. You're going to be impressed. And ladies, they got stuff for you as well. Boy shorts and so much more. Uh, so make sure you check out. Show the dude. Show the dude. Oh, uh, here's the dude. Oh, she loves the dude. I mean, I'm look how I'm his looking. pouch looks. Oh, nice. <laughs> Again, you want to mount it. You don't want to stun that. You want to mount it. Nice. <laughs> but Give yes, you get, your, get it packaged. Look at that. And ladies, if you scroll down, there's a shop for women, bralettes, and uh, box boy shorts. I'm trying to get there. There's so much. There they are. You can get your uh, different styles for the ladies as well. Uh, your tank tops, etc. So go try a pair out. Support our sponsor today. Sheath underwear. Uh, they love us, so we love them. And I really do love their underwear. It is fantastic. So please give our sponsors, because we can't go without our sponsors. And their sponsors believe in what we're doing here. The truth, the honesty we're bringing you. So every time we get a sponsor of a product that I approve, uh, I am always love to share it off. And they got so many colors and styles um I, I i can't speak highly enough of how just it just feels so good i just want to just want to sleep in my underwear is that weird stuff so comfy i, I wouldn't blame you i yeah. wouldn't so take a nap. blame you i'm wearing only, a pair only right question now i do have is do they ship internationally yeah they're in australia 
So they're international as well. They should be. They should be yeah. international. I don't want to speak out of term, but I'm pretty positive. Oh. Pretty positive. Uh, just after you use yeah, the code. I, I think you have to check out code popcorn to check out. We're still waiting for commercials, guys. So if, I'm doing they, my... if they if they allow the package to look so banging, I wonder what they'll do for these kind of puppies with oh, those bralettes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Check it out. There's a text message yeah. where We're back. Johnny promises total global humiliation for you. Do you feel like that came true? And That's always misleading. he promised it. Yeah. I testified to this. I'm not a, a good victim, I get it. I'm not a likable victim. I'm not a perfect victim. I get it. I'm not a saint. I'm not you asking anyone to like she's, me. I'm glad she's finally getting that. Also, she said she never wants to be a victim. Remember when she screamed that at Camille? Mm, but yeah. when I testified, I asked the jury to just see me as human and hear his own words which is a promise to do this, a promise to humiliate me, a promise to ruin me. It feels as though he has. As the trial unfolded inside that Virginia courtroom, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp were being judged in the court of public opinion. This Johnny Depp, Amber Heard thing has Who's been going on for a little bit now. And it's they picked him wild. and not us, Steph? Though both stars I have their supporters know, on social media, come. Come on, there is no Pop question Planet? that the internet sided against Amber Heard. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty. I mean, this was a sort of medieval orgy this? of hatred. Oh. Michelle Goldberg is an opinion columnist oh. for the New York Times. I think it was, you know, people really enjoyed joining in. That's, you know, often the case with mob behavior. And I think that's essentially what this was. It was kind of, you know, misogynist mob behavior. Oh. Online, well, I, people I'm picked apart oh. every move. <laughs> Videos off. ridiculed her facial so expressions. Don't have a mind of my own. And accused her of faking so emotion on the stand. She did. This, this is just a fake crying train wreck you can't look away it from. It is. Johnny, you hit me. You hit me. It was really striking to me to see all of these people engaging in this trend of reenacting her testimony. And I was walking out of the bedroom. Because it didn't make sense. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. A domestic violence trial becoming this source of national hilarity. Yeah, One of she's the most laughing and smiling. moments in the trial was when Johnny Depp suggested she may have defecated on their bed. This is all and new. On my side of the bed was human fecal matter. Amber it denied it, but that didn't stop matter. the internet from branding her with a viral nickname. I mean, I she, she did it herself. Saw what was happening to me in real time. Oh, this is new. I don't care what one thinks about me um, or what judgments you want to make about what Liar. happened in the privacy of my own home and my marriage behind closed doors. I, I don't presume the average person should know those things, and so I don't take it personally. But even somebody who is sure I'm deserving of all this hate and vitriol, even if you think that I'm lying, about you DV. still couldn't tell me Look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. You cannot tell me that you think that this has been fair. Hey, Amber, I'm pausing just to look you in the eyes and tell you I think it's fair. Back to the show. No, no, no. Has been if fair Amber was the villain, the then Johnny media Depp was Johnny. often portrayed yeah, as the hero. This dude's such a stud. Because he, he was. <laughs> He's People the victim here. The jury proved it. The law, charming. That's hearsay, I guess. <laughs> I'm learning. And testimony about his drinking only seemed to endear him more to his digital fans. You poured yourself up um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? Yeah. A mega pint. Who doesn't try? I would drink During a mega During the six week of trial, jurors I could. weren't My sequestered. God. They spent nights and weekends at home with their phones. I think a majority of this trial was played out outside of a courtroom, unfortunately. I think vast majority of this trial was played out on social media. And I think that this trial is an example of that gone haywire, gone amok. And Sorry, I have to offer commentary. It's so frustrating this one, and I want you guys to remember, it's frustrating because she has apparently all this mountain of evidence that she couldn't get into the case. The jurors could have seen that too, Amber. 
oh, but no, they're only going to yeah. read Johnny. So you're basically implying right there that they went and cheated and got the real facts. And that's why <laughs> they did it. No, no, they did it in the court because that's what they thought. Jury's not immune to that. You think the jury saw it? How could they not? I think even the most well-intentioned juror, it cheated. would have been impossible to avoid this. What about Whitney, your sister? What about all the people that aren't supposed to on your team? I wonder if they did, Amber. By your logic, then Dex I guess they did. attorneys reject the notion that social media influenced the jury in any way. They say they believe jurors followed the judge's instructions to not read about the case. Exactly. They said social media wasn't the problem. Amber was. Yes. The deck yes. lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? You still act in hell, the lawyer hey, come. for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. <laughs> Hands. I'm the performer. I had listened to weeks of testimony uh, insinuating that or saying quite directly that, you know, I'm a terrible actress. Uh, so I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit confused how I could be both. Uh, no one, what's so frustrating about the that verdict. too what no one claimed she was a good actress they just said you were an actress hence all yeah. the tiktoks and over exaggerations played out because we could see that you weren't a good actress and we called you out because we could tell you were acting badly and we've talked mm. to actors on this show Steph who've called in and talked about it from the, the acting experience it was so obvious and that's the yeah. reality. No one said you were. A, uh, we're not, this isn't about whether you're a good or bad actor. It's about the fact. Yeah, you were acting. And it is about, I guess, being a bad actor, because that's why we made fun of her. Uh, Steph, how frustrating is this so far? Extremely frustrating, because it, it's just how, what, what is she really trying to achieve right now? Because as I said before, and I'm saying it again, seeing the full interview, it's just making me even more angry at her and more frustrated at her. This is not helping her case in terms of turning that public opinion to kind of soften to her. It, 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 to me, it's doing the opposite. And again, she's just hanging herself. Um, it, it, it's frustrating how she turns around and says, well, how could the jury not have avoided everything that was going on in social media? Do you know what, then? If you had that concern, why didn't you bring it up in court in the first place and say, I've got a problem with jury right now? I've got a problem with jury. I believe that they're not uh, following the rules, and I believe that the amount of social media that's out there and all the people that are lying in the streets right now is swaying the jury. I should have applied to the judge to sort that out, and she didn't. Only afterwards is she now claiming foul with jury because she freaking lost. But you all, if she won, she would have been like, "I was the he was I, I he was the Goliath. I was the David." And after the overwhelming odds with social media and the people like outside, I won. She would have twisted it that way. No matter what. Absolute yeah. bitch. You, bitch. And, oh my God! Don't say that in front of me. That's such an offensive word, Steph. Bitch, <laughs> bitch, bitch. You got a fucking bitch. problem? Come at me. All right, All right. there it is. Uh, now it's really now we're really in trouble. Uh, <laughs> I got accused of using that word too confidently in describing Amber, but. If you look up the definition, it's Amber. Bitch. It's Amber by a hand. All right, Come we got some more me. comments. We're going to go through all your comments. All right, we're back for the last bit. They're back. We're caught up. We're live. Here it is. And then we're going to go through some comments and offer some more commentary. After six weeks of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard slugging it out in court, the case went to the jury. It's the day of the verdict. You come into the courtroom. Were you feeling confident? That's a great question. Acting. Scene. I wish I could say yes to that. I want to say yes to you, but it, would, it wouldn't be true. Question. The statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer. Yes. Court is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you. In the end, the jury believed Johnny Depp, awarding him more than $10 million in damages. Amber won a single defamation claim in her countersuit and was awarded $2 million. 
There's no polite way to say it. <laughs> the jury looked at the evidence you presented. They listened to your testimony, and they did not believe you. They thought you were lying. How could... I'll put it this way. How could they make a judgment? How could they not come to that conclusion? They had sat in, that, in those seats and heard th over three weeks of nonstop, relentless testimony. <laughs> Yet they were in a trial. From paid employees. On both sides. And towards the end of the trial, randos, <laughs> as I say. Not going to call them names. Remember, she's like, I'm not going to call them names, but now I'll just call them complete randos and basically imply that they perjured themselves. So you don't blame the oh, jury? So Kate, I don't blame random. them. It wasn't, yeah. I, I don't blame them. I actually understand. He's a beloved character. He's a human being. And people feel they know him. He's a fantastic actor. He's a human being, Amber. Their job is to not be dazzled by that. I... I Again, how, how could they, after listening to three how and a half weeks they? of testimony about how I was an uncredible person, not to believe uncredible. a word that came out of my mouth. I'm a hysterical woman. I'm a crazy woman. I can't be trusted uh, over and over again. Yeah, because she, you, you, she would have been more fresh in their minds because she went in a statement after. that read in part, from the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth regardless of the outcome even this music's like implying that johnny no got away back. with it I am truly you, you get humbled. that vibe right now yeah when i asked his lawyers why do you think you won the answer i got was because she never took responsibility for anything she did in the marriage and as we're sitting here and i watched her cross-examination there's an answer for everything mm -hmm. do you feel you Good should have her, owned Paul up Rapp. to more of your own bad behavior that I'm, was revealed in court. I'm glad, actually, you asked me that because, you know, there is an answer for these things. You say, I said this on the stand. Uh, my, you know, you hear my voice in those audio tapes. It's not the voice I, of me now. That's not who I am now. I did do and say horrible, regrettable things throughout my relationship. Uh, it, I behaved in horrible, almost unrecognizable to myself ways. There's so much, I have so much regret. On the first day of we the trial, clip that? you put that everywhere? issued a statement, yeah, and part of the statement said, <laughs> I still have love for Johnny. Yes. Is that still true? Yes. After everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love him. I loved him with all my heart. And I tried the best I could to make a deeply broken relationship work. I loved his money. Judging your status. You. I couldn't. You loved the $600. Amber Heard says wine. she intends to appeal her case. <laughs> good and luck. she's concerned her defeat may be a setback for other women. I hope this hasn't, you know. You're making it a setback. Had the girl. chilling effect that I worry it may have on other people. I worry about that. But if I can look you in the eye, Savannah, and say I'm still here, then maybe that serves to balance out some of the very, very real fear others may have about coming forward or speaking Go out. Go to hell. How do you see your future now? Do you think you'll act again? I get to be a mom. Ugh. I get to be a mom. Like full time one day you may how are you gonna afford that want to tell your daughter about <laughs> You're not gonna this get a job? have to tell your daughter about everything that you've gone through what would you tell her about what happened here and what this experience has meant i think no, lie. no matter what it will mean something i did the right thing the right thing i did everything i could to stand up for myself and the truth Oh, she's so brave. I'm I so impressed. I look forward to living what a powerful my woman. life, and I have a long one, Oh. I hope, <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> and I... Um, so fake. I will continue to walk through this with my, my chin up. Oh. That's all for this edition oh, of Dateline. Oh, Jesus. Day Thank God that's all. <laughs> uh, oh, God. She's just... 
despicable. She's despicable. There's so much I want to say, but I'm just my head just as soon as it's over, I'm like, I'm done with it. But uh, there was a part she said there at the end. What was that? I wanted to make one comment. Uh, and I tried the best I could to make a deeply broken relationship work. And I couldn't. Amber Heard says she intends to appeal her case, and she's concerned her defeat may be a setback. Hold on, you know, sorry. How do you see your future now? Do you think you'll act again? I get to be a mom. I get to be a mom. Yeah, so I, I this like, is a, these oh photos God. that don't say Instagram on them now, she mm -hmm. licensed these photos to Dateline so she could get paid for this interview. I'm, I'm, I'm speculating, but I'm pretty confident as well. Uh, that's how she gets paid on this. She gets paid not for the appearance because that would be unethical for NBC to do, but she licenses f full res photographs to Dateline so they can have them for the show as part of their you know, licensing budget. That's where you can sort of eke out some secret fees. Uh, and so when you see this type of stuff, may... these photos are definitely probably licensed. And so they get to pay her for licensing, but we didn't pay her for the interview. You get what I'm saying? It's a, an important difference. About this but again, she's, I, this idea that she's like, I get to be a full-time mom now. About like, everything dude, get a job. Can... <laughs> so what I, the thing I was trying to say was not only is she not going to get a job, she's not going to give that money to the sick kids. How is she going to give the money to charity that's already been in the bank that she's been spending on her a lawyers apparently now to, to raise her kid is what she's going to spend that money on where it's like that was never your money in the first place. That was a divorce settlement you agreed to and you wouldn't let Johnny pay the charities. That's what the money was for because you didn't want him to have the tax write off. And now... After having that money in hand for 13 months, you had the full $7 million. You've still decided to keep it. And now you're not going to work? And so now, when's that money ever going to get paid? So when is this pledge that she keeps saying is synonymous with donating? When is this pledge going to be paid off, do you think? When she finds a rich, gullible sugar daddy to born. <laughs> I mean... I, I I can't believe there are rich sugar daddies who want to bone her after all of this. This woman oh, is the be. devil. Oh, will be. This woman there is the be. devil. They could hire any get anybody they want on, on their private islands. You don't want a woman who's going to turn and sue you and take your money away. Oh, will be. As uh, what did Vito awesome. say? It's it's one thing to ride the uh, the the roller coaster, but you don't want to live in a theme park. He's right. True. True. But again, uh, she can go to hell for saying that her loss is a setback for survivors that is going to stop us from speaking out if anything what she's done has made us speak out more the amount of people that have called into popcorn planet nerd report and to a certain extent steph the alter nerd my youtube channel to discuss the truth of what happened to them. To speak out. Not just to speak out to them, but to speak out in defiance of this evil, lying, piece of shit woman. To say, you are not part of the survivorship community, but I am. This is the truth of what happened to me. This is how real survivors speak the truth of what happened. It's not faked. It's not acted. Because it's the truth. And you can see it in my eyes, in my face, in the, my, my voice. The tone of it, it changes. My body language, my everything. Every single survivor that has called it done that so for i'm to turn around and say well you know it's it's gonna you know stop survivors from actually speaking out more screw you it, it has caused us to speak out more and in one freaking loud voice shoulder to shoulder every single survivor that has spoken out has said amber heard not in my damn name well said but it was trending she... stuff that that was trending that uh, hashtag was trending. Which one? You don't speak for me, Amber Heard. I think it was. Good. Good. She don't. There you go. Even trending that. Even know. Fair enough. 
But she's she's looking forward to being a mum to Una, this, that, and the other. Be a mum then. Mm -hmm. Go in the corner. Be a mum. Live your life. We don't want to see you anymore. We don't want to hear from you anymore of any of this bullshit. Go away. You're done. Bye bye, Felicia. We don't know you anymore. <laughs> Bye bye, Felicia. There's two things I want to talk about before we, before uh, there's two things. We're gonna go through your comments. We got more to talk about. But first up, the night's not over. I'm gonna be going over my buddy Vito's channel, and we as he has a fun show. It's a debate show called The Biggest Problem in the Universe, and you gotta co show up to the show with what is the biggest problem in the universe. And tonight, I'm gonna be raiding all you guys over to that show because I'm gonna be fighting and saying that the biggest problem in the universe are people that believe Amber Heard still. I'm over it. They're like flat earthers, and I'm going to rant like crazy tonight on that show, and, def and I need your support. So show up to Vito's show. That's called YouTube.com, Biggest Problem, and I will be there, and I will get you. When we're done, we'll be here for another 45 minutes or so, going through your comments, uh, et cetera, and then we'll be going over there immediately following to talk about this. So get ready. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, also, if you live in the Tampa Bay area, we're doing a meetup tomorrow night. That's right. We're going to be oh. at Peabody's in Tampa. Uh, it's a nice little bar grill, billiards, got pool tables, got darts, got some delicious fishbowl drinks. Oh, my God. They're so good. Uh, but we're going to be there at Peabody's tomorrow at 6 p.m. Tampa Bay. It's in Tampa. It's like new Tampa. Uh, look it up. If you want information, hit us up on Telegram. Uh, you can hit me up on Telegram. We have a Tampa room where Tampa locals We've been hanging out, making friends, and I'm excited to meet some Popcorn Planet fans uh, tomorrow night at 6 p.m. We're going to have some fun, and I think uh, Raven's Flock might be streaming some of it, so stay tuned tomorrow night. And if you're in the Tampa Bay area, throw Big Tampa Bay in the chat and hit me up on Telegram. It's an app, Mods, if you can send it out there. Hit us up in the Mod Room. We have a Popcorn Planet Room. You can get to, you know, to talk to us, uh, and uh, we have a Tampa meetup area, which a Paige, Wancho, a bunch of amazing people have been there, and so we thought, hey, let's do a meetup. I had some time to tomorrow night so stay tuned if you're in that area let us know i want to make sure i got those two things out and the most important one make sure you go support steph the alter nerd on youtube since a lot of you are here and some of you will start leaving since the uh the show seems to be over head on over to steph the alter nerd to watch uh uh amazing All content you, and hear because... more steph rants and more you can go subscribe there today there it is yes help me help me get to forty thousand guys we're so so close <laughs> Uh, but I got a lot of comments to read. Uh, Steph, anything else you want to say before I start rolling through these comments? Because I want to make sure all you guys get heard because phew, you had some really good ones. Anything else to add? Yeah. So um, thank you uh, to Melinda and Barry um, and also as well Irene and Kirsty Ann for your kind donations off to the next adventure for the new home that goes. Um for the others, um, Leanne and Jessica, um, unfortunately, guys, um, cash up at the moment. If you're international, if you're not UK based and you want to cash up, mate, it's not letting you at the moment. I've exceeded a limit in terms of how much international donations I'm allowed to receive for some reason. Um, so if you are considering donating to me and you're not in the UK, uh, use my link tree and either donate via PayPal or Stream Elements if you are considering, because uh, Cash App at the moment is not working for you guys. I'm so sorry. I did speak to them earlier on to see if they'd increase that limit. Uh, they turn around and says no. So... <laughs> Not Basically. customer friendly, not right. Yeah, so support her on PayPal, guys, or Stream it. Elements mods. If you can get the link out, that'd be great. Marcella, oh my God, I saw that big one from Marcella. He Woo! was so patient with her during and after their marriage. Johnny finally stood up. He was a victim and survived with the love in his heart for all of life. Not easy, but his nature is kind and creates ways to share the compassion and love in his heart. Well said. He really did handle things so much more patiently and calmly, even though there were a few outbursts. I mean, who can blame him? given everything she was putting that man through. It's sickening. Nathaniel says, AH will be fine. Her only fans will be out soon. Watch. <laughs> Hi, Steph. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's true. If the Catch Me Outside girl can make millions on OnlyFans, I'd hate to know how much Amber made. Oh, Debbie M says, yeah. thank you both. Sam Butter says, uh, Am Camel Poop? Narc Narc is 110% psychopath, not PT. Ted Bundy, EB, can't be her. Too many, too many. I can't read it, man. It's too hard. Too many things. I don't know what's happening. Uh, believes she is more intelligent, just lacks charisma, and is not an enigma as a serial killer. I'm 27 as RN, mental health. You, you, it's hard. Sorry, with all the initials, I just didn't know what you were saying. 
So sorry you couldn't fit it all in. Carlos Lima, Andy, check your PayPal. I donated. Would love a Jack Sparrow. I just saw Carlos donated a thousand dollars on PayPal. Two five hundred dollar. I was like four eighty five or something. Eat two of them in a row, and he did a hundred. So. Uh, yeah, and I always said if someone donates a thousand on a stream, I will donate some of the back. But I Jack Sparrow cannot be bought, Carlos. Just pick anything else, but I can't have my Jack Sparrow. Uh, and I got also I got to get to know you, Carlos. But our Jack Sparrow, I just can't have him owned by anybody. I hope you understand. But my goodness, that was incredible. Keep it coming. If you are now a high roller here on the channel, welcome. And yes, hit me up on Instagram or sorry, Instagram or uh, Telegram rather at Andy Signor, and we can sort out how to properly thank you. But Carlos, my man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Carlos. That's incredible of you. And yes, I'm a man of my word. So hit me up. We will work that out. But th come up with a, come up with another one. Uh, Myra Hernandez. Hey guys, love y'all. Where's Kim? Is she's just asleep? It's late. Uh, she's fine. Is there anything to assault charge against JD? Should we be concerned? No. I'm gonna do more into it. But from what I've heard, we shouldn't be concerned. Plus, I mean, Camille's repping. So good luck to that guy. Dorothy Latiti, the interviewer has no has to know she's lying through her teeth. She, yeah, she didn't. I hope she asked tough questions. She didn't really. Savannah could have been way harsher. But again, because of why I think they paid her for this interview, that's why it wasn't as tough. We didn't get a lot of new stuff. There was probably about five, six minutes. Uh, there was probably ten minutes, but a lot of it was like other interviews and clip packages that they added. There was probably maybe three or four minutes added of Amber, which was disappointing. My brain, but I did not, not surprised. We've seen all the rest of it in the previous interviews. My brain hurt says, are, are the hearsay shirts still available? Yes, they are. You Check can get it. all yes, the Johnny hearsay. shirts still available in the store anytime you want. Steph is wearing one right now. See, she's showing it off. Uh, there it is. Oh, my God. What just happened? My whole thing they just shut off. What the heck? We did nothing. Steph, what did you do? Here they are. Oh, yeah, there they are. Merch store has all the, including some new Rando Forever and more. I'll paste it here so you guys have merch, merch, merch. For those asking, it's never too late to buy a shirt and remember all that we've been through. Look at that stop. <gasps> that was a very surprised face. Uh, thank <laughs> you for that. Uh, my brain hurts. Not just the tip nails thanks for all your coverage folks it has helped me keep up to date let's enjoy this train wreck together with a mega pint i had i had one cheers to anybody put mega pint in all caps if anybody else was drinking like i was during that show Whew, that was tough um leo mccain oh my gosh thank you for that big donation leo uh get a new britney funk pop and a second one and send to kim too deal i'll have to look and figure out i think they're still on there we're waiting for them to come there but i think there's a walmart one but I got it. I have three. I have the three. But I, I think there's two new ones I have to collect for the collection. Isabel, uh, the one I really want, if someone really wants to surprise me, I have a P.O. box. I have a P.O. box. I really want the Britney Spears Simpsons figure. As you see, I have a lot of Simpsons behind me. And the one I don't have is Britney. They made a Britney Simpsons figure. I, it must be on eBay if anybody knows or has one and wants to donate or send to me. My P.O. box is in the description of all videos. That would be a fun surprise someday. Uh, and if two of you do it, then one of, I'll give one away. It'll be even funner. Uh, Debbie D.O.B., thank you again. She didn't just want to get caught, but the truth always prevails. It's true. You can't get away from karma and the truth. I learned that the hard way. Brandon Miller, she said in court that the first fight was about wino tattoo, but then she asked to call her doctor notes before then. Whitney uh, tell the, uh, needs to come forward and tell the truth. She will be praised and forgiven. I agree. If Whitney came forward and was like, uh, my sister needs help. I don't know why I did it, but I wanted to do the right thing now before it was too late. I would forgive her. I'd be I'd be completely impressed with her. I hope she does someday. And yes, Amber's story changed, and the abuse now started in 2011, and she just changed it all just because. Shocking. Um, Mike, the dad, Crosby, could you talk? Can you talk over Amber Heard more? <laughs> 
I'm not sure I can listen to her anymore. Yeah, there you go. People telling us to shut up, Steph, but they should be like, talk more. I don't want to hear her voice. <laughs> <laughs> you may have noticed, but if not, H constantly says, as I testified to, she said it four times to avoid answering the questions. Yes, he, she wanted to make sure she answered the question the same. Okay, Hillbilly, I noticed that too. Um, Dr. Bennett, DC, recorded tapes aren't evidence, but she wants her therapist notes. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh, indeed. Marisha mm -hmm. Val, thank you for all you do. Happy to be part of your community. I know it's a lot of work and time of your life and family. Appreciate you all. Well, thank you for noticing that we put a lot of time in uh, and support Steph too through PayPal and the links. So hopefully they are sharing as we're talking. Victoria, Thanks, thank you as well. AH keeps saying that he wants to silence her, but it sounds like she wants to silence JD. She says he won't leave her alone and she is afraid, yet he is the one running away, always flipping the script. Facts. He's running away now. He's running away on the audios. He's running away in all the stories. But yet he's the one dragging her through the mud. Steph, make it make sense. No. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> That's a losing battle, dude. Nope. She's like, I can't really? do it. Really? No. No. I'm, I'm, I, I, I am not your dancing monkey. I will not make it make sense. No. No, it cannot be. It is an impossible Rubik's Cube. It's just not going to happen. It can't be made sense. It's never going to make no. sense. It's not going to make no. sense. No. Marcel, again, I believe he never hit her ever. Uh, there you go. Beth Woods, is she, and you, I, mean, I know you watch Marcel, so that's, that's big. Beth Woods, isn't she continuing to defame him by restating that he abused her? Yes, she is. And she already lost. So if he yeah. really wanted to get her, he could. KG Grass, please stop talking over it. Not everyone has seen the drops, let alone all of them strung together. Well, I appreciate all your caps and exclamation points, but hopefully you heard when I yelled at you earlier because you need to shut up. But thank you, KC, KG. Cat K, AH's condescending tone drives me in freaking sane. Leo McCann, for Steph's rant at stepping forward and speaking up, do it always. Thank you, Leo. CG says, why didn't Savannah say you said it was about Depp at the end of the trial? Because Savannah didn't really want to get in trouble. You could tell Savannah didn't want to be there. I mean, you know, you watch the full interview. Can you tell Savannah wasn't feeling any of this, Steph? I don't know. Really? I don't know. I, really. I really don't know. Oh, I thought I it was know. pretty clear. Um, I felt like she knew, it. but she, did, she couldn't say. She was like... Come on, come, really? Come on, we're splitting hairs. But she still had to sort of keep the newscaster face on, no? I t Eva, and this is why I'm on the fence with it. Eva, she was pushing back on Amber Heard with, you know, like the follow-up questions, you know, in terms of, yeah, well, uh, lies, uh, uh, you're not protected with free speech when you're lying, bitch, or, you know, the, the jury ruled overwhelmingly. In, against you like do that it's over you know th th there were those kind of follow-up questions and comebacks and so it's either she did that because she was pushing back against amber be knowing that she's full of shit or she did those pushbacks because how do i put it she's trying to play both sides knowing that there's a pro amber team but there's a larger pro Johnny Depp team in social media. And so she doesn't want to anger them. So it's like a cynical kind of situation of her trying to play both sides, but play more towards team Johnny so that they don't go after her and don't cancel this on the other or whatever. Does that make sense? That's why I'm a little bit on the fence of it. Either she's doing it as a show pony so that she's appeasing to the basically justice for Johnny Depp fans, or she was pushing back against Amber because she saw the bullshits. I'm not too sure which one. I think she uh, just can't say it, but uh, before I even say anything else... We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Let's go! Let's go! Go on. Go on. Good Marcella. Job, Marcella. <gasps> she wrote a note. I'm proud of you. The channel is healing and fun. After all the donations she's already done through Super Chats, she just dropped $1,000 in the cash <gasps> app. I got to press the button again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, Marcella. 
Marcel, uh, thank you so much for supporting Andy. That's amazing. Oh, Marcel's going to make me cry. That's insane. I, I, I just even the note was so nice. Marcella, you get a toy on the set. You have already gone well yeah. above and beyond, and after that, I have to make it happen immediately. I, I've been trying to track and keep track of everybody so I could start activating, especially as we get the new one. But Marcella, please reach out if you haven't already. Instagram, Telegram, reach out. Let me know your favorite toy or character or something, or just I'll pick one if you give me some things about you. Uh, but we are absolutely putting Marcella on the on the wall. She deserves it. My goodness, uh, that was massive. What a gesture, and what a good night to do it when Amber's watching with Eve, and they're just sitting there mm, stewing. I can't believe he just made another thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, so thank you for shoving it in their faces and the mainstream media. I appreciate you, Marcella. You've been here for a while. You've been donating a lot. I know. I see it, and I know the community loves you and and all your comments. My goodness, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support and believing in me. Uh, I will not will not let you down. We will continue to give you all this amazing uh, coverage. And thank you so much for reaching down deep like that. My goodness, guys. Throw some hearts and planets in the air for Marcella. That is insane. I, insane positive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ins incredible. Um, woo! Uh, amazing. Uh, and I see Val. Oh, there, Val. At Tampa Bay. Uh, but I'm going to the watch bolt watch party. Oh yeah, it is a bolts game. I'm not a bolts fan. I didn't realize. I think some people are ignoring us because there's a t t hockey game. I don't give. A, I don't watch any sports. Uh, but there will be um, TVs there to watch the game at Peabody's. But Valerie, you should still hit us up. Hit up the next one. Uh, you can message up on Telegram and join the room. And if anybody else wants to come out that night, uh, hit us up. Okay, I'd love to see you. And and uh, Marcel, I'm still just in shock. Wow. Uh, thank you so much. I'm trying to catch up on some of these. That's cray cray. There are all the hearts. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, thank you. Whew, holy crap. Uh, all right. I got I want but again, Marcella had a lot of these. Um, thank you so much. Let me get through the rest of you because it all matters. Beth Woods, is she, con isn't she continuing to fame him? Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where were we? Cat K. And yes, don't forget guys in about 30, we're going to hang for a little bit more. And then I'm heading over to uh, Vito's channel. Uh, I don't have the link yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So you're not going to miss it. So join us over there. Uh, mods, can you help me find a link? He didn't put the link here. Uh, hopefully one of the mods can give me the link or put in the mod chat and let me know and I will share it so you guys have it. And we're also just going to send you there directly afterwards. So stay tuned. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun because I'm going to say that the biggest problem in the universe right now are Amber Heard fans because Steph, I really <laughs> firmly believe it. So get ready. It's going to be a lot yeah, of fun. Never problem. They are. They are an issue. All right. Let's see. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 yes, we would come forward. So Dawn, I agree. A lot of us, I'm sure, would love to look her in the eyes and tell her we believe her. Uh, Penelope, so happy we're all watching this here and not at the alphabet. Also, Steph, is it cold where you're at? <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Hence the jacket. Yes. Just a little. Correct, 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 correct. Chris, I love, in like two years when we hit those drops, people are going to be like, what the hell are you saying? Objection, here's, here's that. You guys will remember. Dot, dot, dot. Yep. That's convenient. Uh, Kristen Fouts, I'd be interested in uh, another interview with Turd. Just one rule, Camille does the interview. Oh, that'd be good. Also, she says, as I testified to a lot. Yeah, a few of you have been noticing that, like, because it just, I left her lips, it's true. Yeah, well, I think she doesn't want to get caught in the lie again, is what I think. So she's like trying to remind. Well, as I testified, I'm just going to repeat myself. Uh, JC Windrider, thank you. Adriana Moraria, as a DV survivor, I'm so sorry for all of us. Ho hope karma doesn't bite her. I hope I hope karma doesn't bite her for real. She has no idea what it feels like living through that. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Um, but I would wish some things on her. I just want her to take accountability. And, and, and it was weird at the end as she tried didn't work though april right her interview is ridiculous trying to bait jd to do his own interview exactly she can't i want to move on but then she doesn't want to move on nelly b they changed her response she said before when you are in abuse dynamics you don't have the resources that say you or i do it's different yeah they changed a few things i noticed too minor little things or responses weren't there because they were the packages sort of set it up it was very there's literally like five different edits of this whole thing there was the trailer there was part one part two the peacock special and then the full special and there's still little pieces in all of it so 
I was kind of shocked they didn't at least have the Dateline special have all of the bites we'd seen before. It was very weird. Nelly B, um, thank you for noticing that, though. Michael Clark, three weeks of testimony as I testified to. Of course, it's all a script. MM Art of Experiencing. I am so inspired by this channel. Thank you, Andy Signor. Well, thank you for being here. Welcome. We got lots more coming. Who knows what the next big case or thing we cover will be. Uh, but stay tuned. You'll you'll watch it with mm. us. Blue, because uh, we're here every day, weekdays. Usually, We're not usually here on nights unless there's something special happening like this. We're usually here during the afternoons for a few hours and a lot of standalone news stories. So keep, make sure all you guys are here. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're still subscribed. Will you guys hit the bell as well? Smash that like button. We got more people watching than likes. That doesn't make any sense. And keep no, leaving your, your comments. And also subscribe to Steph the Alternerd. While you're hitting that subscribe for me, go hit that subscribe for her as well over on uh, Steph the Alternerd. Okay. Now at 36,907 subscribers. Woo! So please continue to go over and hit that subscribe to button. 40. We are so getting close. I know. Oh, no, you thank you so much for all you guys' support. It's going to happen. As ever, thank you, my friend. It is going to happen. I can't wait yeah. till it does. I'll be here. Uh, let's see here. Blue Garrett, uh, JD should file an injunction to make her stop this nonsense. I, I think if she stops, that's the only interview. The law move on. I think if she continues to do interviews, someone on the legal team is going to do something. Um, Marcella says again, thank you again, Marcella. She keeps coming. Another one, another one. So manipulative. Oh my goodness. Crystal Lynn, thank you so much. Bernadette Lonefire, can Mike Mike, aka Batman, just take her to Arkham Asylum already? <laughs> yes, please, Mike Mike. Do it for us. LG, Andy, deep breath. Oh God, everyone telling me to shut up really annoyed me. I was just like, oh my God, you guys shut up. And so I was happy. <laughs> sometimes I just like to go on my own rants or yell at somebody. It's good to get it out sometimes when people are no. being annoying. No. Steph knows. Um, I'm right. Yeah, you, you do it well. Get those cactuses right up your alley. Oh, uh, yeah. Just jumped on in. Just speaking of which, right up your alley says, just jumped in on Andy's flipping out on the commoners. That was great. Well, see, you guys usually like it when I freak out. Uh, like when I had my light year rant earlier that people really enjoyed that. I got a few messages. Marcella Cali, net Johnny lived this nightmare for years. Her defiant defaming him. The truth of it has come out for a few weeks and she's losing it. Marcella again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nellie B. This just gives her a chance to resubmit her case to the public. Exactly. She thinks it's going to, it's going to help her. Michael, Three O, thank you, Nelly B. Again, Colt of Odin. How dare a commentary channel have commentary? How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare we talk and offer our insight to all of our subscribers and fans that want to hear our insight on said commentary? Oh my God! How dare we offer commentary? I know. Just shut up I... and show me the free show so I can then leave. Is really what all those commenters were saying because they're not actually part of our community. Missy Jade, am I, I am a true survivor sitting in a park in Australia, absolutely furious, especially calling herself a survivor. That was a really, really annoying part. If this was a man, do you think the mainstream media would do an interview? Adore my family at Popcorn Planet. Uh, I mean, they're not interviewing Kevin Spacey or Bill Cosby or Harvey Weinstein. No. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think they would. It's... Did it, I mean, they're not interviewing Jesse Smollett. It's the closest Amber, right? I'm trying to think of what's like, he's not doing, I don't know if he's not doing interviews. I, I, I don't know. I bet you that they would. He's like kind of a train wreck. People want to watch train wrecks is the other problem to it, right? Exactly what I was just about to say. If they had the opportunity to interview any of those people. You bet your backside that do it. Because it's the curiosity factor alone. You, 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 you couldn't resist it. You would tune in to see what they would say. You know, straight from their garb. Um, it, it, it would be, it'd be all over news. So, and, and an absolute ratings winger, winner for the network that would be doing the interview, which is what it comes down to the ratings, right? So, yeah. I think definitely they'd do, they'd do an interview with any of those people if they had the chance. Yeah, I, I concur. Uh, so we'll see. But stay. I, I'm curious. I'll keep a better eye on it. Um, sorry, I heard a weird noise. I was making sure no one else is in my house. 
but good thing you're all watching, so you can call the police. <laughs> uh, was it again? Nine one one. One one nine. Nine one one. That is the number. Yeah, we okay. have, that's our okay. number. It's true. You don't have that there. Uh, no, let's we've see got nine nine nine. Got Easier. it. Easier. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Stacy Brooks. Didn't she file a defamation suit against Doug Stanhope? I think she did. Yeah, she did. she did. Yeah. But they settled. Right, Johnny they did made a part of the divorce settlement, I think. That's right. Uh, and, but Doug Stanhope's been terrified of saying anything since. But I wonder, I, I keep waiting for him to come out now. But I don't know, we'll see. He was one of the few who had, to, who was, had the guts to call her out earlier, way back along. He's a good dude. Oh, man, I'd love to talk to him off the record someday. <laughs> Pinky Pink, mm -hmm. uh, if AH makes sense to you, I have two words for you. Seek help. For F's sake, seek help now. Love Steph. Go off Steph for all of us in Europe. Uh, Rhonda, Johnny probably predicted she would go on a rampage after the trial, whether she won or lost. He must be thinking now that the most that most know what I went through just being with her at all. She just is not a liar or just a narcissistic psychopath. Too much. NY Mom says, thank you so much for presenting this. And also, we love to hear what you have to say. It validates our opinion, our own feelings about this liar. Well, there you go. Thanks for saying we're allowed to talk. Uh, Candace Scalf, as a survivor, this makes me ill. I think I got that one earlier. I'm genuinely disgusted. I want to know she doesn't speak for me. Deanna D, all clips and video together to make him look bad. Uh, and same excuse as when Depo, all lawyers across looking mean. Uh, Ashley Reynolds, anyone else besides me feel like she's only doing this to mess with JD? Yes. And abuse mm -hmm. him more and get him to talk about it? No, it's not just you. Best YouTube channel ever, as always. Uh, wait, uh, I'll love always. Stop complaining about or the commentary or watch something else. Amen, Ashley. But what can you do? Just annoying. So many of them. It's like, go away. Amy, Lynn, uh, I'm angry there are some people in here. Uh, we got that one already. Depp should have sued for, defica for defecation. Ha <laughs> ha. I see what you did there. I'm going to sue for defecation. Because that's pooping. Yeah. That's pooping. Jenny, yeah. any attention is better than no attention for Amber. Dr. Curry is being proven correct. 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 Over correct. and over. Correct. Tina Koch, Cho Cochan, Rando from Michigan. Woo woo. Oh my gosh. Joey. Uh, Joey already just said, I just placed a bid on eBay for the Simpsons Britney for you. Oh my God. Joey, it's your birthday. I'm supposed to be getting you something. Happy birthday to Joey. I uh, hope you had an amazing dinner. But yeah, that's incredible. Uh, Joey's apparently on it. But I, I guess if it's eBay, who knows? Don't don't spend too much. Uh, Tina Cochin, Rando from Michigan. What's up, Rando? Carrie Reinhold, Amber Heard, Amber Turd, Amber Turd, Amber Turd. Star Seedling, thank you. Deborah Barlow, Anita Brito, Happy Bird. Rebecca Lineback, I'll just send little chats. Thank you so much. David Long, the average person gets more bruises and cuts without being a victim of abuse than Amber was able to show from her ordeal. Mountain of evidence, my ass. Great commentary, mm. guys. Well said, David. Well said. Melanie, I hope Savannah asked her if she creeped, if she crapped on the bed. <laughs> I don't know why she didn't. Did you crap on the bed, Amber? Sure seems like it. I wish I wish Savannah would have said, why were you staring at the jury so much? <laughs> you did realize that was kind of creepy, no? Did you realize how creepy it was staring at the jury as much as you were doing? Because it was really creepy. <laughs> Uh, Jack Roth, guys, stop being dumb. He has to have commentary. Jesus. Thank you, Andy and Steph for Christmas. Well, thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you for all you guys were reminding the idiots. Star Seedling, love you, Steph. You are a legend. Firefly, thank I'll, you. I'll be the opposite and say to talk even more. At least I came here to hear y'all's opinion. One. Yeah, a lot of people actually were here, God forbid, to hear us on our channel. What a thought. I know, right? <laughs> wow. What a novel experience. What a crazy experience. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, thank you, Kelly. I cannot and will not allow this woman to represent me or any part of anything I'm because she is so vile. Let's sit and listen to how Amber says it's supposed to be. This woman does not represent me in any way, shape, or form. Amen. Orly mm. Bailey, this is proof of what good editing can do and only take portions of clips to, demon to demonize a person. They made him out to look like a monster. Uh, JTM here for the popcorn and people on this planet. <laughs> popcorn people. Found out, find your channel and always have notifications on. Thank you so much. Again, guys, just make sure you're subscribed. Just hit the bell, hit the button and then the bell. Uh, you can also smash the like for us. Um, always awesome. Also, I got my awesome purple mega pint shirt on. Boom. I love it. Love when you guys wear the shirts. Yeah. 
We all got our shirts. We're all family. Alicia. What's up, Alicia? Sorry we couldn't get you in. Love you, Alicia. Thank you for all the mods for being here. We appreciate you. Alicia was like, I gotta talk. I was like, not tonight. So hard to fit everything in with all the comments and everything. But we'll have you back soon, Alicia. You know we love you. Happy mm -hmm. bird. Thank you. TPS AH said, I testified to abuse. Not, I was abused. Interesting catch. That is different. I testified to abuse. It's not the same as I was abused. It's true. 3040 crew. My first marriage, I used to collect leaf bottles until my then wife decided to throw them towards my head and had a knife held. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Uh, glad JD came forward to show it doesn't have a gender. Me too. Stacy Climo, are you given the full amount of the house for the house? Yes, you buy the house in full. If you are given the full amount of the house, yes, you are you buy the house in full. Oh my god, that house analogy was so frustrating. So frustrating. Oh, as someone who's trying to get a house, has been trying to get a house for years. Yeah, you don't just buy a house and then be like, I'm pledging for this house, mortgage and mortgage companies. I pledge I pledge you. I'll pay you off someday, cool? The interest rates, none of that matters. I'll just pledge it, okay? At some point, I'll pay you back when I want to. Cool? That's not how buying a house works, guys. Uh, I, I, apparently, she never saw his Wino Forever tattoo for a year plus prior to her first slap. How, was he never shirtless? The cabinet video pisses me off as well. Her instigation. I, I hate her instigation in that cabinet video. He's literally stewing about something. He's frustrated. He's wrecking the cabinets. Shouldn't have done that. Fine. But he lost like half a million, more than half a million dollars. So, okay, he wanted to smash a couple of cabinets. She wasn't around. She didn't need to be around. She walks into it and makes it about her. We didn't yep. fight last night. I wasn't even there. It's not about you, girl. Stop making it about you. You're instigating him. And he's apparently the monster. Why are you instigating a monster if he's the monster? You're, you're prodding him. I, 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 I can't, Steph, it makes my head go batty. That people are defending this one when you hear that audio and see the instigation, the manipulation. That's not, I'm sorry, that's not abuse on her part. He didn't even touch her. If he was the monster and didn't know the camera was on, don't you think he would have smacked her then and there? Uh, it, uh, and another question would be if he was such a monster, why give your monster a big ass knife? Like, this ain't a knife. This is a knife kind of situation. Like, do that. Fucking insane. Get yourself some crazy freaking pills, I tell you. What the hell? Yeah, it's wild. Like, if, 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 I, if I was in a physically not very nice relationship and it's my other ass birthday or Christmas present, Hmm. Yeah. I'm really going to think that the best idea in the whole freaking world is to give him a weapon that he can use against me in a not very nice way. Yeah, because that makes all freaking logical sense in the all wide freaking world. Oh. It doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No. And she's asking out loud how, why the public the people the overwhelming opinion isn't on her side this time the other it's because of things like that you lied the jury made the decision lie down and take it because this is the consequences of your lies okay go in the corner with your baby and be a freaking mum The way that she invokes the survivorship community is insane, it is infuriating, and there is a special place in hell for Amber Heard. I'll tell you that now. Say it again. Say it with your chest, as Jody would always say to me. <laughs> <laughs> Eliza Shu, thank you. Teresa, thanks for streaming this. It was like we all watched this together in the same room. I know, it was nice when we reacted. Yeah. Uh, and anybody who didn't feel that way, then get the hell out of here. Have a great weekend, everyone. You too, Teresa. I hope you are still there. You caught that. I'm sorry it took so long to get some of these comments. And again, I just sent the link out. 20 minutes. I'm jumping over for a very fun comedy debate show with uh, Vito and Dick Masterson. We're going to debate some the biggest problems in the universe. And I'm going to be arguing that it's Amber Heard fans. They are the biggest problem in the universe right now. It's going to be a lot of fun. So join us there and support Vito, my man. We will raid him uh, and get bring all you guys over. 
I'm excited to have some fun over there. Uh, Ashley, she's incredibly condescending and thinks she's the smartest person in the room. She's not. She also barely ever directly answers questions. How could they? How could I? How could they not? Just answer the effing question. That'd be a fun supercut, actually. Who wants Alicia? Somebody want to help? Uh, do a supercut of every answer that wasn't an answer. <laughs> that hour-long interview. That would be entertaining. Candace Rose says, I love how she thinks she was a star in Aquaman. I'd rather watch a dead fish do her role. She was trash. <laughs> Uh, Candyman says Steph is back. Yep, she is. Steph is back. Back again. Back again. Steph is back. Steph is back. Steph is back. Steph is back. For a month, and then I'm off again. Then I'll be back. And then there'll be like a total like Steph the alternate takeover of Popcorn Planet. Watch this space for next month, guys. Whilst the cats are away, the mice will play. Girls' night. <laughs> and anyone that enjoyed the last girls' night uh, with just myself uh, and it's Kim, the ladies' night that we did, we will be doing that again. That will be coming back. It was so much fun. There she is. Steph is back, back again. Dead. I was right. I was. You you paused me because I was right to get into my M M&M, and M. Right. I created a monster because nobody wants to see Marshall no more. No, look, I'm cheating. I'm chopped liver. Well, if you want cheating, this is what I'll give you: a little bit of weed mixed with some hot liquor, liquor. Some, some vodka that'll jump start my heart quicker than a shock when I get shocked at the hospital by the doctor when I'm not cooperating. When I rock at this table and I'm operating. Hey, hey. I, I used to be able to do that very well. <laughs> of course, because I, I guess because I'm white. I don't know. Uh, we get older. <laughs> Oh, I gotta love some of those raps. Okay, Billy, the bank pays for the house in full, and you owe them, but you still own the home. Hence, the property taxes, insurance. It's just like a credit card. The entire entity is paid, like the charities in full, and you owe the bank, not the homeowner. Thank you. Exactly. It's nothing like buying a house, a pledge, charity. She's keeps doubling down, and she sounds so. So idiotic. I wonder if she learned that from the Greeks. Uh, Golden Charmander, I'm telling you, they dramatized the full hour. Uh, oh, my gosh. I got to read through this because I'm running out of time. I got to stop at 10. So I'm going to keep reading as much as I can. Again, Tampa people, join us over there uh, on the Tampa group. And then uh, biggest problem are the two things I want to keep make sure to plug. And don't forget also, before I go, uh, guys... Pouch. 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 Do you want a pouch, pouch like this? Oh, look at him. I want a pouch <laughs> like that. Jesus, Steph. Uh, the dual them. pouch. This, I'll do him. The thing I never really told you guys is how amazing this is for the summer. And summer is coming up. You're going to stay cool because of the material they use. It keeps you cool. Uh, the sweat, you don't won't sweat as much. It's got that spandex fabric blend. So it's cool to touch and provides absorption, as it says. Uh, and it sculpts to your body. It look, you look you look good or better in it. It's going to be real hot in there. So, uh, I mean, cool, but you're going to look hot. That's the best combo. So make sure you go use code POPCORNED. You'll get 20% off your order. 20% off your order so that's a deal uh yes. check it out uh i see and people you get to have a pouch like that dude that steph the alternate <laughs> dude steph approved it's steph approved hell yeah i want to mount that not stun it hell... oh well i might stun God, it at the same steph. time who knows steph's on phase... steph is already ready for phase two it sounds oh dude well <laughs> if he was around i wouldn't say no <laughs> I appreciate a good form when I see one. And I see good form all over, especially at eye level right now. It's pretty damn sweet. <laughs> uh, I just sent over Leo. Oh my gosh, Leo. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, thank, first of all, I was just saying I saw people in Tampa want to come to this meetup. I want to get as many of you as possible to meet up. Go to the ta I'm sending the link. Head on over to our Popcorn Planet tele tele Telegram room and then uh, start saying Tampa. And uh, hopefully someone there will find you and send you on over to the Tampa room. Wancho mm. or somebody if I need to find or hit me up at Andy Signor. I'll try and make sure you get in there. But we are meeting tomorrow. Uh, if you're in Tampa, we are meeting tomorrow. At Peabody's, I think. Is, do I have it up here? Peabody's Bar and uh, Bill Bur Billiards. It's in on Amberley in Tampa. We'll be there at 6 p.m. tomorrow at Peabody's. So whether you get in the group or not, if you want to just surprise and show up, come around 6 p.m. I will be there. 
We'll have, uh, I think there's going to be a dozen of us so far. So it'll be a nice, tight little group. And uh, you'll get to meet some Popcorn Planeteers and me. It's going to be fun. So uh, come on by. Uh, excited to meet you guys. And again, pouch. It's actually couch. I mean, uh, pa- it's a sheath yeah. for the dual pouch. Uh, sheathunderwear.com. Make sure you use your code popcorn. And we're heading over to Vito's in 10 minutes. So I'm trying to get through these as many as I can. Uh, my goodness. Uh, I have a few shout outs as well. All right, you do that uh, real quick because I'm finalizing. I, I, I'm going to try okay. my best to get your comments. Go ahead, Steph. Uh, shout outs to uh, Chris, Debbie, Raging Rocket Web Agency, uh, Tanaya, Jean Rick, thank you, honey, Barry Jones, uh, Sarah, uh, and Ali, thank you so, so much uh, for your kind donations, all off to the next adventure in the new home. That goes. Uh, But guys, just to mention, uh, because I'm still getting notifications through, if you're trying to uh, donate to me via Cash App and you're not in the UK, it's not working at the moment. Um, But if you're still considering to donate, um, go on to my link tree uh, and the PayPal and the stream elements where will still work for you. So please bear that in mind, guys. Uh, sorry, I did speak to Cash App, but they just turned around and said bog off. So there you go. Uh, there we go. Um, and sweet Carlos, again, my goodness, Carlos, thank you so much. And thank you to Leo, who just said couch. Couch. And dropped a big couch. one. My goodness. <laughs> Jay Hart, thank you. Couch. Velda Chamberlain, what site are you going? What site are you going to next? I've only been here a few days. If you stay here live and keep watching live, we're going to send you over there. So live viewers will come on over to the next channel where we're going to have a comedy show where I'm going to debate with Vito, my man, uh, his, his co-host. It should be a fun show. It'll be like a late night show, funny. But I'm going to argue on behalf of Amber, bringing an Amber theme so you guys are more entertaining. Uh, more entertained for the Johnny fans. Uh, so stay tuned. That's coming up in 10 minutes or so. I'm just trying to get through all your amazing comments. Dustina Oberholzer. I normally d- love Dateline, this show. So uh, for Tougher, it's sick. Yeah, I mean, it was weird how they were trying to make it some like mystery when it's not. It's not a mystery. We know what happened. Uh, Jacqueline, thank you again. She doesn't speak for me. I'm a survivor, and this makes my blood boil. Thank you for covering this so I don't have to support NBC. Infuriating. KC says, this woman needs to stop. I don't really want to watch her interview, so thanks for making it more bearable this way. You're welcome. Marianne, as a survivor, I cried more than that woman during her testimony about the bottle. It actually messed me up, but my tears were angry tears. I relate. I'm so sorry for all you guys who had to live that. It was just un real how disgusting that was crystal l she wasn't terrified for cross-examination she wanted a light and was condescending she wanted to fight and was condescending amber said i don't think you know how cocaine works i remember that she did she did do that too oh my god there were so many moments it's hard to keep track oh my god insane um let's see here jenny if she wants to talk about evidence excluded, what about Jennifer's evidence? Yep. And what about the audio in Australia after Johnny? Those are two things that were excluded that completely buried Amber. And if, if Savannah had been on top of it, well, you're talking about the evidence that come in. What about the Australia tape where Dr. Kipper said you cut off the finger and we can hear you walking around without any injury? Why is that? Why are you discrediting that? that would have, imagine the stunned face. Amber's like, well, uh, 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 uh. And then was like, yeah, what about uh, Jennifer Howell, who says Whitney wasn't credible and was actually saying you were the one who was abusing her. I, the mm-hmm. fact that Savannah didn't have the guts to ask those questions is terrifying. The, she mm-hmm. is not a newscaster. There were so many things she could have done to really, really confront her and see how she reacted. Otherworldly Oddities TV, I think JD wouldn't make eye contact with her because he was disgusted learning that he was being set up from the jump. Well, because she's a, his, his abuser. That's why she's, he's not looking at her. He said that. He said, I'll never look at you again. Um... Uh, not just the tip. Thank you. She says she has tons of proof and still lost because it's easy to tell she's lying. It's infuriating. I wish she'd get some help. Uh, Tammy, thank you. Steph isn't experiencing essay with a... Uh, is it, what's worse, experiencing essay or ta- testifying about it? Obviously experiencing it. What I mean, yeah. of course. So yeah. cactus for AH. That's what she, oh, she was trying to make. Say Amber was saying it was worse uh, talking about it than... Than experiencing it yes it was really disgusting how amber was saying that yeah sam butters no blood with cut digit she'd look like carrie storm dancer all these issues of abuse are probably at the 40 plus people from her now ex-friend claims she was while jd was at home citizen canon why didn't her father testify 
a Dolan. The jury agreed with all of us all because she's a bad actress. JD convinced people he had scissors for hands, but she can't convince people anything happened to her. Speaks volumes. Love you, Andy and Steph. Uh, Kara Froman just said, disappointed in Savannah. I hear you, Kara. Um, Suzanne, good. Thank you. Poco Loco. I wonder if after the SA, she used makeup to cover it up. Yeah, Annika Cream. It's a cure all for everything. Kookaburra, mm. she planned his demise. Priscilla Powers, AH didn't speak for me. Men too. Jacqueline, she put her donation on layaway. <laughs> Life a lie. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. Um, sorry, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to go to the beginning. Ad hominem just said, so I'm going to read the current ones real quick. Ad hominem just said, um, I'm kind of new here, but I'm already in love with that thick accent from Steph. Ooh, la la. Hey, now, do you have a pouch hi. like this? Yeah. Uh, Steph, Steph's uh, on the now market. we might be talking. And I think she, you know, if she's going to go back on the market, she wants to do it with someone who has a pouch <laughs> like this. So, so hit, a, hit, a, hit her up. But don't be creepy about it. Just be like, just say no, pouch. No, no, don't, don't, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not ready for phase two. This is just me joking. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. No, no. I'm, I'm seriously like, after a 15 year kind of relationship, yeah, I'm you're, you're not, not ready, ready for the pouch. <laughs> I, I'm ready to look at look said at it. pouch. Okay. However, it being in my reality right now in front of my face, I don't know what I'd do with it. So let's, let's just leave it for picture and fantasy for now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. So leave Steph alone is what that means. Thank you. I uh, get cheapunderwear.com. <laughs> anybody who hits, if anybody doesn't leave her alone, I'll find out and I'll block you from everything. Uh, but try Thank out uh, sheath underwear. Use code popcorn. Um, <laughs> there we go. Where was I? There's a bunch of you guys. Thank you so much. Kathy Elliott, thank you for everything. Well, thank you. Lady Onoko, I can look you in the eye and say I'm here. Why does that mean? followed by several side-eye glances. Nothing she does makes sense, lady. I, I'm with you. Knick-knack, behind closed doors, you freaking recoursed, recorded it all. I can't stand it. Yeah, she recorded it all, and that's the best she got. Um, what site are you going to next? Uh, Velda, stay tuned. If you watch live, we'll just send you there. Um, Leo, thanks again. Tia, AH made JD crazy. I know I've been with an AH black and blue and told my friends and myself I was the problem. I could have died. Thank God I woke up. I'm glad you did too. And if you're out there watching in one of those situations, uh, there's plenty of help. Reach a crisis hotline. Uh, we have a lot of links in our description. Uh, mods, make sure you put them out again for me if you can. But um, yeah, make sure uh, you know there is help out there for you. Mm. Andy, read my previous read my previous content, Jenny. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm just drowning in them. But Jenny, I see you. I appreciate you. Other worldly oddities. JD was home when he visited the Flappy Fish Market. Amy Terry, Amber told the truth. J the TMZ video did show DA Johnny did abuse the domicile. I see what you did there, Lord Aldehart. Compare it. Uh, Johnny Depp said to Amber Heard, she never gets to see her his eyes again. Yep. Jay Hart, mm -hmm. Lindsay Morgan, R. Kelly was interviewed and he did horrible things. Not surprised was interviewed. Good point. R. Kelly did get the interview. So they do they do do the interview, the men. Um, Julie's Hart, uh, when she was going to leave, when was she going to leave to protect her child? Liar. I don't remember that part. Leo, thanks again. That's not how you buy a house. Shit. I mean, um, damn. Storm Dancer, it's not how you buy a house. That was ridiculous. Breaking news, Amber Turd and the Poop Scoop. Can you create a shirt that says, don't look at the jury? I don't know if anyone would buy that one. Would you guys want to see that one? But hey, maybe. And thank you, Mar Mar Martin. NY near yearbooks. Thank you, Tia. She wants him to look at her again. Nick Knack, I bought pouch for my hubby. He was like, what the hell? Uh, LOL. He said, very comfy. Looks great on him. Well, there you go. Nick Knack tried it. And yeah, see, it's comfier than people think. But everyone has that first initial, what the hell? And then you try it. You use the pouches and you're like, Oh, huh, all right. And what's nice is you don't have to use the pouches. If you're like some days you're like, I just want to have regular a little bit. You can decide how you want. It's a, it's a really nice versatile option. So use code popcorn, 20% off your order. Um, we will find out 624 when the order is entered, if there's an injunction or cease and desist order against AH. H. Um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see Christine. Jesse, Jessica Moore, love you all both. I'm a survivor and just listen to Amber just pissed me off. Amber does not represent nobody but herself. Keep ranting for us, Steph. I will do. No, I'll stop this gob. Not even that package. 
<laughs> Jesus, stop <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful. Uh, my gob is deep. <laughs> oh my god. Deep dish. Oh my god. Coming through. <laughs> Oh, it's nearly Jesus. three o'clock in the morning. I think I'm allowed to be giddy through lack of sleep right now. So there we go. This is what you got at three o'clock nearly in the morning in UK. Deal. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. You'll take it. Come uh, on. <laughs> Jeez. Although that place looks really yummy wherever you're going to. Yeah, the the, the, fr the fish bowls. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm just going to show you right now. Hold on. Before, I don't want to... Show. Yeah, look, look at let these me drinks. See what I'm missing out look on. at these drinks. I was I was trying to find some cooler bars, but then I was like, I'm just gonna go to one not too far from me that I like, and it has pool tables. But wait, I wanted to show the drinks. I love these drinks. They put Swedish fish in them. I mean, they're a little overpriced. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I mean, look at that. Come on, don't you want some of those? Mm, yeah. And you know what I do as well? Play some darts. Like my. My my favorite thing to do when I visit like a bar or something, uh, and they have like those kind of really cool looking shaping uh, dr drink glasses. If I have a big enough bag, one might just accidentally Go fall <laughs> in and not smash, and then just all of a sudden grow legs and walk out with me. Yeah, it's gonna like, be it's fun. never happened before. Oh, then you yeah. get then you got a fishbowl at home. It's true. It's yeah, I know. Oh, they I look think they so cute sell though. them too. Probably sell the glasses. But yeah, we'll Probably be there tomorrow in Tampa, 6 p.m. I see a lot of you joining our. Plus, just anybody can join our group. By the way, the group is for everybody. There is a separate Tampa group. I'm just promoting that because we're gonna we're doing one. So I want to make sure people don't miss out. But if you want to join the Popcorn Planety uh, chat group on Telegram, just be nice. If you're uh, mean, you get kicked out. Uh, and then if you're in there, just scream Tampa. And I'll I'll direct you to the other one, the local group, separate. But there it is. If anybody wants to come, boom, just join that and then let us know. Uh, all right. Uh, and then Steph, as I start to wrap, wind down. I'm sorry if I didn't get to everybody. Doggy lover. Hope Johnny doesn't fall for her false love. Of course he's not. Come on, that woman. He's done. He is done, mm -hmm. done, done. Mm -hmm. um, no worries, Carlos says no worries. Can I get Baby Yoda named after me? Okay, Carlos, we got a Baby Yoda. I got a little baby. It's smaller, but sure. Uh, you're talking about or maybe buy one? a bigger baby order. Oh, well, I, mean, I, I, I try to keep them all around the um, that size of figure, so they can out be on a shelf of all my figures. So I'll connect with you. I have a baby Yoda figure, but smaller. But you could be the smaller one. You're talking about the big one behind me. No, I, I want to. I'll, I'll hit me up in Telegram. We'll talk about. It. I, I will. We will get you a good presence, Carlos, my man. I appreciate your support. Mm. Um, I want to give you something good. Trisha, finger talk. Thanks you too. So you know what. You did was correct because all the other YouTube loves were kicked off live. Uh, thumbs up. Oh, really? Everyone else got kicked off? Did they really? Correct, correct. Ah, correct. Because correct, correct, we offered correct. more commentary. Well, I'm surprised we didn't. If ever, if people were just streaming it without anything, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. And so um, we off we offered our commentary. If this gets pulled later, I'll just have to clip the middle portions, and then mm. those will be removed, and then hopefully it's better. But uh. That's why we talked, guys. Uh, Lisa Rand Method Rodriguez. Method to the madness. Love the channel, but I noticed Andy wanted to talk, so I just went to another channel. Too easy. I'm now back. I'm now back and still love Andy to death. Yeah, see? Well, Lisa, good for you. You wanted to watch it without talking? That's how you do it. Um, it's not that hard. <laughs> People are so weird. Uh, yeah, like Lisa. Quite, Lisa, Gunner's I appreciate it. Right? Yeah, Lisa, uh, no. Just, sorry. No, go ahead, Steph. You say people are so weird. There's literally someone called Lou Scunt that's just put on the live chat, Andy, show us your feet. As you just said, people are weird. If someone uh, pays actually. me, I'll show you my feet. <laughs> Ooh, uh, anyone that's got a foot fetish Cash at me real there, quick or drop a, drop a, if someone drops $100 right now and says feet, I'll show you a foot. $200 for both feet. But you got to hurry up because I'm about to leave to the other show. Uh, in fact, I am about to leave to the other show, so it's got to happen quick. Everybody else, sorry if I didn't get to you. Uh, thank you so much for your amazing donation. We will be back. Uh, I may do another stream this weekend. We may do a member stream if I can do it. But I am going to prep for the make uh, the members meetup tomorrow in Tampa Bay, which, again, quick roundup of everything that's going before you go to the next show. We're about to watch another show with me. Uh, where I'm going to debate the biggest problem in the universe, and I'm saying the biggest problem in the universe are Amber Heard fans. 
So that's right. I'm going to go over there next. Stay tuned. Don't touch your dial. You'll go over there right away. Uh, and that's coming up next. Before we go, I got to thank our sponsors, Pouch. Uh, and I got to yes. tell you about our meetup. Uh, first, let me tell you the meetup. We'll be at Peabody's Bar. If you're in Tampa Bay, St. Pete area, come on down to Peabody's tomorrow. They'll have the game. Uh, and you can also hang out with us, get a booze, get some booze, get some wings, get some pizza, whatever, play some darts, uh, meet some popcorn planeteers. Uh, it should be fun. I'm trying to set up some more meetups throughout the year so I can get to know you guys. Uh, so excited for that. We had a great one in Vegas. I thought, well, let's do one in Tampa. We got a lot of people who are actually here. So uh, hit us up in, in Telegram. It's in the My link tree has the link to all Telegrams. Click there. You can message me or message the Popcorn Planet Room. Hey, I'm from Tampa. Where's the meetup? If you're confused, we'll try and direct you to our Tampa Bay room on Telegram. Uh, Telegram's like WhatsApp, but you can have uh, separate group chats. And so there, some other ones have brewed in there, and it's, it's, it's been chiller. I'll nuke it if it doesn't, but uh, it's been chiller for now. And the Tampa group is very nice, and there's a lot of fun people in there just going to movies and stuff. So if anybody wants to connect with us, that's the place to find out. But we have a Popcorn Planet chat where a lot of nice people are just chatting, and it's just a way to continue the conversation from here. You can continue the conversations from here over there with other uh, friends. So tomorrow, though, if you can't figure out Telegram, this is where we'll be on Amberley uh, in Tampa. There it is. So see you there tomorrow at Peabody's, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I got to do my outro here just in case. I got to trim this. Guys, what a show. I don't know if the clip stayed or not. I hope we did. We tried to offer fair use here. Unless NBC came after me, they may have gotten trimmed later. But I tried my best to, uh, to talk over it, which I know annoyed some of you. But, Steph, that's what we had to do here. Uh, so wonderful being here. Thank you for watching with me, Steph. Any quick thoughts? Um, Amber Heard's a liar. She's a stain. Uh, she's a disgrace to the survivorship community. And uh, she needs to stop what she's doing right now because she's harming our cause rather than helping it and she's deluded herself if she thinks otherwise well said well said and also pouch, pouch. support pouch. our sponsor sheath underwear pouch. they're amazing they're back for the third time because you guys keep buying them and you love them and they're comfortable and it's perfect for the summer so get your man or yourself a pair of sheath underwear try out the dual pouch your man or yourself are going to love it. It's for your Frank and your beans. Uh, and uh, it's a good, it's it's such it's cool for the summer. Will help with sweat. The absorption is great. I'm not just saying it because they're sponsoring me. I literally wear them. They're my favorite. Soft, comfy, smooth. Get a pair today. And thank you, Sheath, for doing it. Use code POPCORNED at checkout. The link will be pinned in the description to go get a pair and save 20%. Show them that we love them. And because uh, we, we pump our sponsors hard here because they believe in us. So thank you, Sheath. Uh, we love you and thank you for being here. And thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to Steph the Alter Nerd and Popcorn Planet. Hit that button. Hit that bell for all alerts. And uh, smash that like button as well. That's how this show works. And uh, yeah, Amber, quit doing interviews. It's time to move on. It's time to get going. What lies ahead, I have no way of knowing. But under my feet, man, the grass is growing. Yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to get going. Oh, sorry, I'm just stalling because I'm trying to. I'm singing Tom Petty because I gotta add the the, the redirect. Yeah, I think we've just got another uh, donation from Marcella. For yours or mine? Oh my God, is it to yours. show my feet? It's a, a cash app. Did she tell me to? Sh it's on. not to show my feet. Oh well, look, you no. <laughs> Thank Should... God. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, hold on. I got the redirect. Awesome. We got the redirect going, uh, Marcella. Uh, my gosh, to stand for the truth, she has to face the truth herself, face of her disorders, and face the pain she has caused. Otherwise, she will continue to destroy anything good in her life. If she wants to be a light and leave a legacy love behind, she has to get the right help. Well Fox. said. Well said. Amazing. Uh, so, Marcella, way to own the show tonight. Carlos, thank you as well. Mike, Mike, as always. You guys all stepped up tremendously. I appreciate you guys for supporting this channel the way you do. What's happening next? Oh God, so much to say. We're heading over to a new show. My buddy uh, Vito is live right now. It's called The Biggest Problem Ever. He's live, and what I want to no, do, it's no like time. a litter. What I want to do is I want to surprise them. And what are we gonna do? We have fifteen thousand people. I'm hoping at least get five thousand of you to come on over to this show next because I am going to debate the biggest problem ever, and that it's Amber Heard fans. Now, if you're watching live, you shouldn't have to go do anything. Come watch me here next. I'm going to give you the link just in case you need it. 
Uh, but I'm going to do what's called a redirect. And if you're watching live, it should just port you over there. It's that easy. Uh, so I'm going to put an end screen here. We're going to wrap the show up, but don't go anywhere. Don't click off. Actually, I don't need the end screen. It's fine. We're just going to go right now. Uh, click on over. Join Vito and uh, Dick over there. We're going to have some fun. So come watch me there. Steph, I love you. Thanks so much for staying up with us. Go su support Steph the Alter Nerd and come support me over at The Biggest Problem. If you, if you missed the full show, Hit the join button. That's always the best way to also get everything on this channel. You'll become a member. You'll support the channel. And you can check our members only replays on the members only playlist on the main channel page. Thank you guys so much. Don't go anywhere. Here we go. We're porting you over to the biggest problem in the universe. If you aren't there, go subscribe to the biggest problem in the universe and watch the replay. Look forward to having some fun over there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Later. Pouch. Pouch. Use code popcorn. Pouch. She thought.